Hello, my name is Saltbot. I am Kismet's co-host for this evening. Welcome to Kismet's stream and thank you for dropping by once again. Tonight it's time to get back to PC gaming with the Kismet overburdened with love PC. Thanks to all of you we can take this stream to another level. Let me open up the vault door and let's go inside. Kismet is waiting for us. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I see that my light is not quite perfect. <laughs> it's always something. Watch this magic. Look at that. Hands free and everything. Yes, I got myself a little thing that fixes that for me over here when my uh, monitor be too light, be blasting me in the face. Check out technology as its finest. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out in the stream. My name is Kismin, and technical issues and things like that are all part of my charm, are part of my stream. Uh, if I butcher your name tonight or something goes horribly wrong, it's all entertainment to you guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out in the stream. We're going to be having some fun, uh, having some fun doing some Fallout 4. Of course, tonight's our Fallout 4 night, and you're like, Kismet. I'm so glad you're back to Fallout 4. You've been gone so long from Fallout 4. It's been forever. We just played it yesterday, bro. We just played it yesterday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, typically when I start my stream, on Saturday, Sunday, and on Wednesday, Thursday, we play some Fallout 4. We also play, of course, some seven days to die. We've been working up our new base. A lot of fun. Hopefully, we, we think we have a might have a line on how to make our crops work. We're going to test that out tonight and see if we can get that going on. Uh, as well as we're going to move into our new military base. We're going to do a whole underground thing. But tonight we're going to be following around some more uh, questing with Johnny Law. A little bit of settlement stuff along the way. Be doing some building and whatnot uh, along the way on some of our settlements. And uh, we're going to dive right into it. But first we're going to say hello to all these awesome peeps right here in the chat. Uh, I love it when people are here right at the top of the stream. Always hanging out saying, Kismet, what's up? Now, I've been working very, very hard. Now, I did uh, do a bit of a smaller stream uh, yesterday. I got up today, and I got a ton of stuff done. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good. I literally have like 70 videos that need to be uploaded and that need to be processed. And 70. 70 videos. Can you believe it? I am, I am streaming so much that it literally is like four terabytes of videos that need to be processed and sent up. And, and for some reason, my YouTube upload is going really slow. I don't know what's wrong with that. I was trying to fix it. I said, you know what? I ain't got time for it. I got to work on a whole bunch of other stuff. I just absolutely crushed it today. I was like, you know, you do a to-do list. I was like, done. Got that done. Got this one off. That one's good. All right, done with that one. We'll let this one run for a while. All right, we'll get that one. Now this one to that one. I was just doing that all day. And then I said, okay, I got tired. Lay down while I was letting a bunch of stuff run. Got back up again. Said, let's keep going. Read a few of your guys' uh, nice things you guys say. Let's do it. Boom, right back to it. Thanks to you guys for the encouragement every single day. So thanks to Curse Saucer over there saying hello, Kesman. We got eight dogs and eight Kesman in chat. Of course, my awesome mod, Chewy. Uh, Sazzle, Sazzle Cat. Sazzle Cat. Hello to you, Sazzle Cat. Thanks for hanging out in the stream. Half Man, thank you so much, as always, for hanging out. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Isn't that convenient? Everybody saying hello to everybody. Uh, and then also we got uh, Daniel the Red hanging out. We got our jar and uh, row rum hanging out in the lurkers section. Uh, now I'm not calling you guys out. I'm just saying you're hanging out in the stream. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. We also got Cat in there with some kitty kitties, some little babies, some little fuzzy kitties with little hearts. It's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, thanks for hanging out in the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, in the top of the stream. Couple hours. Couple hours there. Uh, uh, Revival Super. Revival Super. A couple hours, bro. But uh, chill out, maybe. Just get yourself a sandwich. Maybe some popcorn. Maybe a cute girl or boy. Whatever you like. Snuggle up with them. Enjoy the stream. That's, uh, that's, all, that's what it's all about. We're going to get into some trouble. Uh, so let's go ahead and just switch right over. And Dan, uh, David Dell also hanging out there in the stream. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little switcheroonie here. Boom! All right, here I am in Fallout 4. Look at how quick I am. Now we got to go ahead and reset that counter. I did die last night. Uh, funny thing is, by the next day, I forget why I died. Who remembers? Who remembers? Can spark my memory what I died doing. I'm sure it was fun, whatever it was. Uh, I, uh, I consider deaths a uh, part of the journey. Uh, let's go ahead and reset that counter back to 1. Now, also, we uh, got a bunch of subscribers and followers. Holy moly, look at that 41 up there. 
Holy moly, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys. I'm going to start something new where I show you guys first at the top of the stream how many we got from yesterday, and then I'm going to go in and manually fix it. Now, I use something called Stream Elements. Now, Stream Elements is actually pretty amazing. Now, I don't get anything if you switch over to Steam Elements. If you do, make sure to uh, let them know that Kismet sent you, but I don't get nothing. I'm a uh, Stream Elements champion, meaning that uh, basically I can go out there and talk about it and say that I'm a Stream Elements champion. So, again, I don't get anything special from it other than the fact that I turned you guys on to something awesome so you don't have to spend you two years messing with 25 various programs. You're like, whoa, Kismet, 25 different programs? That's right. whole bunch of different programs. I've tried Unkbot. I've tried Dinkbot. I uh, have used Nightbot and Revlo, sadly. Rip the Revlo. Much love, bro. Much love. Uh, and then also I have uh, used other things like Wisebot and all the other ones. I mean, I've tried them all. I've tried them all. Uh, and this one I really like because uh, you can go in and you can edit all of the stuff that you want to edit, like my follower goal right there. See, my follower goal right now is at 41 followers yesterday. Thanks to all you awesome peeps pressing that follow button. I can simply go in uh, into my little editor here and edit the session and simply just change that one thing live on the stream. Look at how it changed. Isn't that amazing? That is so much better than the other stuff. The other stuff, you have to reset everything or you have to go into some text file. I just did it via the web. Go in the web. Go in there, edit your session. Your gut, your gut down there, the sub love. All that sub love from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset that as well here at the top just to show you guys how incredibly cool this thing is. Now, I'd love to show you all my stuff over here, but it might show you my stuff. If you know what I mean. Oh, here comes. Super excited for this stream. Oh, a dog coming in with that bit love. Oh, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're going to have lots of fun. We're going to be running around with the old Johnny Law, a.k.a. Nick. Uh, we're getting close now. We're getting close to finishing up this quest. I can't wait to get it done. Now, it is a beautiful day in the wasteland. Look at this day rising here. Now, I'm on top of my base. I'm actually hanging out uh, on my helipad, which works a good 75% eh, of the time, maybe 50%. But it does work from time to time. It actually lands on top of my base. I'm here on the mega base. You can see in the background there the Kismet kill box doing its job watching for bad guys. Watching for bad guys. Any bad guys show up here. I don't care if it's a pack of legendary death claws. They going down to the Kismet kill box. Ain't nobody surviving that, baby. Ain't nobody surviving it. Good evening, Iron Chief. Thank you for hanging out in the stream. That's Mr. Anon to you making me hungry with cookies. I love that little cookie wave emote. I wish, I wish nobody had that so I could make it. <laughs> so I can make it instead. That is awesome. I love that uh, that one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to find the, the uh, streamer that does that and just tell them I love their cookie emote. I see it's for Rev in there. When you roll over it, you can see uh, who makes the uh, emote. Uh, now, I did learn, if you saw on my... Whenever I learn something, I like to uh, turn you guys on to it as well because I know a bunch of you out there are like me. Or you're an affiliate streamer. Or you're trying to become a partner streamer. Or maybe you're trying to become just an affiliate, right? Or maybe you're not trying to do any of those. Maybe you're just streaming because you love it because you have so much bank in your pockets that you're like, I just stream because I love to stream. And I love to hear that. I, if I had lots of bank, that's why I'd be streaming as well. But nothing wrong with getting paid for what you love to do. If you love to stream and you love to do it, Nothing wrong with asking people to say, yo, if you love what I do, cool. Donate a dollar or two. Right now, all that money go into my mods. Not to me. Not to me. I believe in paying back people who help you out along the way. Right now, we got about 219 bucks. We got a whole bunch of mods. We're going to try to get as many of them to TwitchCon as we can, whether it's helping them with airfare, helping them with food, helping them with whatever it is. This is my big way of paying them back for all the help and stuff they do behind the scenes. Now, not all of them want to go, and that's perfectly okay. I know a bunch of them are going to be there. Of course, I'm going to be hanging out with my buddy, Banlish. Uh, we're also going to be hanging out. Uh, Texas Vet's going to be there. I'm trying to get Pokey to go. See if Pokey's going to end up there. And, of course, another a bunch of other amazing, amazing streamers are going to be there as well. We're going to take that baby over. We're going to take that baby over. We're going to have a crazy time no matter what. Because I literally am going to fly up there. I'm going to hit the ground running. And then, like, I mean, I'm going to fly up there, rent a car, Go down there, drop my stuff off, go straight to TwitchCon, then uh, do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Then just like the whole weekend, I'm going to be jet lagged like you won't believe. Uh, usually I like to come in at least a day before to try to just sleep, to try to get to, over that jet lag. But it's just going to be go, go, go the whole weekend and I can sleep when I get home. I can sleep when I get home. Now, am I going to stream? I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, I'll try to, because uh, they have a new app uh, that I really, they have Periscope and a whole bunch of other apps that I tried last time that didn't work well. Uh, we will see. We will see what I can do to try to get that working and then try to live stream from, uh, from TwitchCon. That would be awesome. 
That would be amazing. So I will try and see if I can hook that up. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. If nothing else, you'll see me poke into uh, uh, when Banish is. I'll totally be trolling Pan. I'll be like, Banish. <laughs> I'll be doing that behind the scenes. He's going to be streaming live. So I might troll him while he's doing that. Because he's got a laptop. I don't have a laptop. And right now, not raising any funds for a laptop. I'm not going to use it. I would only use it to go to TwitchCon and use it. I, I think it would be a waste. I would much prefer, much prefer to take all donations and send it to my mods. Because, again, they are awesome. Now, if you are new to my stream, my name is Kismet. I'm the leader and founder of one of the longest-running gaming guilds, Kismet Ring of Destiny. That's where the name comes from. Uh, also, I'm a variety streamer here. play a lot of Fallout. 1,000, almost 1,850 hours now playing in melee mode. And uh, we're about, I'd say the about halfway through. The can take a real toll on you if you let it. Seen this place make monsters out of men. I hate it when he talks in my head. That's creepy. I don't know where you are, Nick, but that's super creepy, boy. Super creepy. Creepy. So it's a beautiful day to get out into the wasteland. Now, we got a few conditions to do. We are also probably overburdened like normal. Uh, I, uh, I, oh, I was going to tell you about uh, emotes. Emotes. Uh, if you saw my Twitter, look, squirrel. See, I, I squirrel a lot. I, my, my brain obviously like goes in weird different ways. One, two, three, unique. One, two, three, or just unique. Thank you so much for hanging out here in the stream. Appreciate uh, that dropping of the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button with fire, and becoming part of the Kismet Army. Show them some love. Show them some love. I see David Dell in there saying hello. Iron Chief saying hello. And Sidia says, hello, Kismet. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. I got a lot of stuff done. I went straight to sleep. I crashed out. I got up. I went straight to it. I was knocking off those things in the to-do list all day long. And I learned something I wanted to share with you guys. Now, for all of you who are affiliates and who are waiting for your icons, if you go and check out my Twitter, KismetBP, right here, right? So you go to Twitter.com, Kismet, be like Bravo, P like Papa. Head over there. Uh, on my Twitter, you can find out how you can see if your emotes are approved. Now, I went and I, uh, I tweeted out to... Uh, Twitch support, and I said, are we going to get a notice of when it's when it's approved? I don't know when they're going to be approved, right? So I went in, and I'm going to go check my dashboard again here. And let me see uh, if uh, it's there. So you go to dashboard, and then you go to settings, and then you go to emoticons. Now, under emoticons, you can then uh, roll over your emoticon, and it says pending. Now, I think that's kind of a very hidden thing. It's very hard to find that uh, in, your, uh, in your stuff. I would have never... I mean, I only found it just because he said, well, it's in your dashboard. And I'm like, well, you know, that's not very specific. Where in my dashboard is it? How do I find it? All that stuff. And I just happened to roll over it while I was looking at some other stuff on that page. And then it popped up and it says pending. So, of course, obviously, when it stops saying pending, then your emotes are up and running. So there you go for all you affiliates. I do love to send some love out to follow fellow streamers as well, uh, especially the little guys. Show you some love out there. Uh, you can know that it is working by that. Now, as you can see here, we got a bit of a problem. See what happens to one of these big, uh, one of these big things here. Now, I was going to fix this last time, but I'm going to go ahead and start by fixing this today. There we go. Uh, fixing all this mess. Look at this. Now, this is because I have it up against the wall. Up against the wall, and we're going to have to fix it. This is called the Kismet Workbench Mega Sorter, and it does an amazing job, usually. It usually, when there's not something in the way causing it to get all bunched up. So we've got this running right now. How can we turn this off? How can we turn this power off of the whole entire sort The farm's sorter? not much. But it's well, right good. down there, there's a thing to shoot. Let's see if I can shoot it from here. Oh, first shot. Look at that. Does it go off? That side went off. Nope, didn't go off. Hold on, why didn't it go off? Now what I do is I have a... Uh, oh, there comes that purified water. Uh, what I have is I have a target uh, toggle switch down there that should turn the power off. If it doesn't turn off, then there's something wrong with the wiring. We need to check it out. There's that elevator. All right, I have a couple elevators. It's going to go ahead and take me down uh, here as well. And we're going to go down to the ground floor going to do a little bit of organizing our stuff here. Uh, what I need to do, of course, is fix that sorter so I'm not constantly doing that every time. 
Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Kismet Mega Sorter, I'll show you a little bit on how to get started. We're not going to rebuild the whole thing. Sometimes this happens. Look at this. All this stuff on the ground. Now, this usually happens when you first log in. Uh, sometimes the sorter does get a bit weird. It does get a bit weird. And again, we've got to we got to get this Nick quest done so he stops crying like a baby every time I accidentally blow up innocence, <laughs> which happens, which happens from time to time. Hey, give me that. That's bones right there. That's bones. I can't go without bones. Can't go without bones. Now sometimes you just you can't even see what it is. So you got to roll over with your little cursor here until you find what it is. It's in there somewhere. So you just roll over your cursor around in the area of which stuff keeps falling, and pick that up. Now, I may revise this uh, at some point and just run it nice and straight instead of lifting it up. So the problem happens when it goes into the hopper. When it goes into the hopper, that's when it has trouble. Now, also right here, uh, this is a bit of trouble as well because uh, once it gets up there, it's got to go up to the hopper, then back up, then go forward again and down in the hopper and then down through there again, which is typically what causes that issue. Now, if I have an extra thing behind it, usually it's okay. But again, here's the workbench right here. Then this is running through here. Now, something's causing this to be powered all the time, which means that it's not running backwards from the tower. It's actually running from here, then up to there, then to here, which basically is only turning this terminal off down here. Right? You can see this is currently off. So we need to go ahead and make another nice. switch. We need to make another switch that keeps that going. Pimp of the Dead, thank you so much for that cheer. Appreciate it big time. And, of course, to a Dog as well. Uh, appreciate that love. Appreciate that love. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something going on over here. Something going on over here. It be busted. Okay. Cold busted. Again, if uh, if it ain't something being broken, then it is not a kismet stream here. My stream elements just went offline. On that browser. Get out of that browser. There we go. Now I can see my activity of all my stuff. Now it also has this really cool feature of Steam Elements I love. Uh, it's called Activity Feed. Uh, and I try to keep it up over here. There we go. Now it's working. Uh, it tells me everything you guys are doing. Like, uh, the hell. <laughs> follow my channel. Thank you so much for that follow as well. Uh, appreciate that. Pimp of the Dead with those uh, three bits. And, of course, a dog with a whole bunch of 67 bits there. Thank you so much. Fallout 4 time as well. Earlier, Rumco. Uh, with the uh, follow uh, right there at the end. And I saw Sea to Moon uh, drop. Oh, here comes the big bada boom. A dog bringing her in. There we go, A dog. Uh, check it out. Now, if you guys haven't discovered, you can actually uh, donate to my mods uh, for TwitchCon. Here it comes. Boom. Holy mackerel. That was a good one. Uh, dropping the big bada boom there. Now, if you have not seen uh, that you can actually donate and do special sounds and fun things uh, here on the stream, and it goes to my mods so they can get TwitchCon, which I think is super, super cool. Super cool. Bees Mod saying hello. Uh, Pika saying, Kismet, congratulations on your subscribe button. Thank you, Pika. I cried like a little girl. <laughs> I totally did. I, I own up to it. I own up to it. I did. Oh, man, that was two years of incredibly hard work. And I know... I know. Some of you are thinking, well, Kismet, everybody got this sub button, man. Sorry, bro. That doesn't make me upset. Big, big congrats to them. Now, they don't have to work, wait two years like I did. Like I had to do. Working seven days a week for two years as much as I could on the stream every day. And now I've gone seven days. Seven days starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. Now, some days will be shorter. Some days will be longer, depending on how much time I have and how much uh, I can uh, handle sitting here. Uh, for that long, especially like those six hour, 16 hour streams I've been doing from time to time. Uh, but I love to do it. I love to do it. I have a lot of fun doing it. I love hanging out with you guys. Uh, and once I got that sub button, it was like the end of a long, long journey. I tell you. Uh, Carderoy, thank you so much for dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army. Show all those people some love, everybody. Show them some love in the chat. Hello, Mr. Stabs. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you so much. Uh, I do appreciate everybody who noticed that sub button up there. That's right. I got a sub button. It's right up there or wherever it is for you. 
Uh, there's a sub button up there. If you do hit that sub button, it does help support the stream. Now I get the question Not all the time. Kismet, like should I uh, subscribe on GameWits or should I subscribe on uh, Twitch? Now, it's more convenient, of course, for most people to subscribe on Twitch. And Twitch takes half of that. As an affiliate, they will take half of your funds, right? Uh, you know, so I make less. So if you go to GameWisp and you subscribe for five bucks, or if you subscribe here on Twitch, uh, basically, I actually, uh, the stream actually aims, because it doesn't go to me. It goes straight to, everything goes right back into the stream. Uh, so it, basically, uh, I get more if you do it via GameWisp. Now, it's your choice. I like the convenience of being able to do it here on Twitch, which is why most people will sub via Twitch. Just more people that sub here, of course, it'll balance out eventually, right? Right? Yeah. So, a little tip for you guys who are uh, streamers as well. Uh, I, I personally don't mind which way you do it. I, I, am, I am thankful in any way that you support the stream and you keep it going. Uh, I'm one of those people who subs, and I hashtag never unsub. I never unsub unless somebody gets super, super big. Unless they get, you know, uh, very, like they have 1,000 or 1,500 people in their stream, and I'm like, you know, they got a lot of subs. They might have five, 600 subs. I could probably use that sub for some other small streamer. Uh, Kaden, 21 gang, thank you so much for dropping the 21, and, uh, 21 bits of love, <laughs> or 21, uh, 21 pounds of love, dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army, show him some love, show Kaden some love in the chat. I see a dog in there, oh, my wonderful mod, the latest and greatest mod, Pink Ranger hanging out as well, make sure to show her lots of love, 7 bit as well, hanging out, sup, sup, Jay Weed, I am ready to play some games, I'm ready to play some games, if you guys don't know. I love playing some games. I love playing some games. I love building some stuff. I love getting out into the wasteland, getting into some trouble. I love me the whole entire Fallout series. I really do. Uh, I never get tired of it. How you liking that power armor, bro? Hello, sir. Say Preston in one of my power armors. <clears throat> Is there something you need? See, this this was really annoying. I'm to trade a few things. Sure thing. It's when they get in your power armor. Look at that. He took my X01. Remember my X01 that I grabbed and then brought up there? Dude just took it. Dude just took it. He just took my power Anything armor. Else? Watch this move. Come with me. I need your help. You got it. Now, when you when you got a companion that's in your power armor, here, I'll show you a little trick. Uh, you go ahead and send your current companion to Spectacle Island. Then you can talk to this companion. Hey. Okay. Hey. I need you to get out of your power armor. Sure thing. Now, he got out of the power armor. He's good. Now, I don't remember giving him the Gatlin laser, but it's totally possible. Now, he grabbed a fusion core, took that fusion core, and actually got one of my power armors, which he should not have done. At some point in the game, in the vanilla nice. version, they went and uh, made it where they can grab stuff out of your containers, and it sucks. Because all of a sudden, you'll be like, where did all those guns and stuff go? It's because they went and grabbed it and took off with it. And took off with your stuff. Now, if you leave your fusion cores oh, in there... a lot bigger than I realized. Uh, it's, uh, basically, if they went and uh, grabbed your stuff, they will grab all your fusion cores and they will start to grab your power armor. Now, all my power armors, I like them to be uh, in my power armor museum. Uh, so I'm going to go up here. Now, we're not going to actually do stuff with Preston today. Uh, we're going to do stuff with, uh, with Nick, of course. So we're going to keep on going. Up here. Oh, went a little bit too far there. Too far. I always do that. I always do that. Now, this should end up here in my museum, which is where I originally have been parking a lot of this stuff. Right here in the museum. Bam. And going to take that fusion core out of there. Anything I can Again, all you? this stuff should be like that. Now, why did he jump in that power armor? Well, usually they jump in the power armor. Oh, there's one with fusion core in it. That's my main one. That's my main power armor there. Uh, usually they jump in the power armor when anything attacks your base or uh, there's like an emergency. They'll go and they'll just pop in your power armor and then go and do the stuff. Now, eventually, I would like everybody to have some power armor, but not right now. I didn't tell them they could go get in my power armor. Bad monkeys. Bad monkeys. Get in there. Grab my power armor. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, so yes, now usually they'll do that whenever you have it in a container, or uh, in my case, I have it in a sorter, yeah. which is right down here. This is oh. where I've been keeping my, uh, my, uh, fusion cores. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, not, yeah, that one, right? Yeah, all my fusion cores are gone. Look at that. 
Wow. Huh. All of them are gone. I still got one there. Yeah, all my fusion cores have decided to vanish from there. Uh, let's go ahead and look here under ammo. Any fusion cores in there? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, all right. We'll keep looking. Yeah, all my fusion cores are gone. So, basically, they went in, they grabbed all my fusion cores out of there, and then utilized them to grab that power armor. So, watch out for that. Watch out for people grabbing your stuff. It's kind of annoying uh, that you have to constantly be micromanaging them, stealing your stuff all the time, but you can do what I just did there uh, and be able to get that back. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab the bottle caps out of here. Another thing I like to grab out of here, so it's not taking a long time to sort, is, of course, grab all the purified water, 563. I'm going to grab that out of there like so and simply put it over here. Now, I'm going to stack up a whole lot of this. We're not going to do purified water for tonight. I usually do it every other time. Uh, if, I had, I've did, if I did it every single time, you see me nothing but selling to the vendors and, and doing that all the time. Uh, and I would never get any questing done. All right, we'll go ahead and let that go. And uh, we've got some more stuff to drop off. I think I'm. Uh, it's all ammo uh, and weapons, I think. Oh, here's some more stuff to sort here. Now, again, we have to find a way to turn the power off so that we can, uh, of course, work on some stuff here. So I got some fusion cores on me, which is okay. Now, I've got a bunch of weapons here that I don't necessarily want to put in there. <laughs> Shimmel, thank you so much for dropping mutants. the dragon hammer oh, and crushing the follow button and becoming part of the Kismet army. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, so, yeah, show them some love, everybody. Huh? Show them some love. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Mr. Stab's hanging out. Hello, everybody. Kiz finally got P uh, Fallout 4 on my new PC. Awesome, pimp. I'm glad that I inspired uh, you to play some Fallout, man. Fallout is amazing. Uh, I really like this version. Some people like uh, Fallout New Vegas more because the uh, storyline. The storyline is amazing uh, in Fallout New Vegas. Everybody's hoping that they come out with a kind of a revamped version of it, uh, an updated version of it. I think that would be amazing. I would definitely play play that as well play that through um, but right now uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this going oh power so what we want to do is we want to figure out why our power is uh, basically it's backtracking from here up to there <laughs> they're strong we got to work on him as yes. well what's up uh, so our power is backtracking you have to here no oh it's right here idea what it's been like. now sometimes when you're walking around your base when you have lots of people, they just constantly love to talk to you. Now, I just try to ignore them as best I can. Because they are just constantly talking in your ears like having a split personality. There's so many in your ear. Oh, there's a nice thing right there. There's a nice thing right there. Well, we'll just leave that in there for now. So I offloaded a whole bunch of those weapons. Now, weapons don't go through the sorter that well. Don't go through the sorter all that well. So you got to watch out for that. Got to watch out for that. Shakes marks, thank you so much for dropping the dragon hammer crush. Oh wait, here comes also the bits. Uh, you need to eat, drink, and sleep. Boom! Wow, what a big bada boom there. There we go. Uh, life's uh, life's a pain and suffering. That's true. It is. It truly is. Uh, there. Yes, I will eat and drink here in just a second. Uh, let me make sure that. Uh, those people are actually hanging out in the chat, and it's not uh, someone spam botting me again. I hope not. I can't remember the last time Don't I had Don't be spam botting me, people. Don't be spam botting me. Doesn't help me at all. None of that stuff helps my channel. None of it helps my channel, bro. Bruh. Nothing. None of it helps. None of it helps. Uh, so yes, thanks so much for that follow. Uh, if you are here in the chat, make sure to say hello uh, to all those awesome peeps who are pressing that follow button. Uh, and again, my name is Kismet. I am a variety streamer. I have lots of fun playing some games. Boom. Now, if you are, there we go. How's your boat at? Now again, let's see. Uh, mods, be watching that. See if someone is spamming me again. Yeah, here we go. Here we are. If you are a legit person, if you are legitly hitting that follow button, 
please hello in the chat. Now, what we had uh, previously, so for all of you uh, streamers out there, uh, a lot of people on Twitch recently have been getting hit by a, a spam bot. Basically, somebody coming in and having way too much time, free times. You know, if you could, if you had such ingenuity to make that stuff happen, why couldn't you use that for something good, right? Why couldn't you use that ingenuity? Why couldn't you use that uh, brilliance to doing something good in the world instead of tearing people down or disrupting people's streams? Why don't you use that ingenuity to make people's streams even better? Use it to make something good in the world instead of tearing other people down or disrupting their uh, gameplay. So if I do see that that uh, starts to happen, uh, we see a very common pattern like that. I will go ahead and I will go ahead and disable that follow. Uh, so we keep continuing to see that. I will disable it. But if you actually legitly press that follow button, say hello in the chat, I'll be happy to shout you out. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The wit hanging out. Sup, sup. Uh, there we go. Hush, hush a plate hanging out as well. Uh, hello to you. Doodle saying, hey, kids, I just bought a GTX 1060 and Fallout 4 is so beautiful, isn't it? My streaming machine has a 1060. The 1060 is a very decent card. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn your stuff all the way up to ultra. Go ahead and get the HD textures. Throw it in there, and it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. Ah, uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to have to disable that. So sad. So sad. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Hey, don't Biggest be pushing me around. Saw. Now, you ever notice that the settlers can push you around, but you can't push them around? Even if you're in your power armor, they come up to you, and I've actually been pushed off the side of stuff by uh, mobs coming up or uh, settlers coming up and just pushing me back, where I'm just standing still, and they can push me, but I can't push them, which is interesting, right? Because watch, if I run over here, I can't push this lady. But she can run over and just push me out of the way, which is very odd. There we go, a whole bunch of stuff sorted. So we need to backtrack our power. Where's our power going here? Where's our power coming from? Synths, yeah, and where's it going? See, right over here, you can see our power is backtracking to right here. So the actual power to the sorter is right... Right there. Right? And everything should come to a halt. But it doesn't. That means that there's somewhere else that it's getting power from. Where's all this power coming from, people? So we need to figure it out. We need to backtrack our power. Why is it getting power uh, even though we flipped the switch off uh, over there? Now, what we tried to do is we tried to use wireless power from this, which is actually coming up via the elevators, running across the floor to this panel, and then running right to here. So this should give us the control that we need, or the other side over here should give us the control we need to turn it on and off. Like Back down there. So it's getting some power from somewhere. And we haven't... I, I, Heck if I remember. Heck if I remember. We can see the power is chained this way, and it's run all the way down to there. So it's getting power probably from over there uh, as well. So we've got to kind of uh, find out why it has yeah. power, give this yeah. the ability to turn it on and off. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out again down here. Like so. Again, we're going to do just a little bit of settlement stuff. Just try to turn the sorter off, try to fix the sorter, and then we're going to get out there. Uh, and get into some trouble. This get into is a some nice trouble. change of pace. Bam. Crops coming in pretty good. Hey, awesome. Thanks for hanging out. I see Top Atlas in there, and I see Cat as well. Maybe uh, good night, A Dog. Thank you so much, bro, for that love. Never lacks for uh, enjoy the stream. It's been amazing. What? I missed a, I missed a big uh, donation, or did it not come through yet? I saw, I saw a thousand bits in the chat. Where are those bits? Uh-oh. I didn't see those bits come up. Bummer. Bummers. Always something, party people. It's always something. Now, if, it does, if I don't have a technical glitch, I see it right there. Let's repeat that. Let's see if we can get it to come through. I see it in the cup. I missed it. I was talking. Uh, technology. Not my fault. Their stuff's not working. All right, we'll redo that later, or I'm sure it'll kick in at some point. There it goes. Now I'm probably going to get two of them. Probably get, whoa, what the, whoa, holy moly. Wow, hold on, it's okay, Kismet, really, holy moly, look at all those bits. Whoa, dropping the lightning on the thing, whoa. 
Gotta watch that lightning is very loud. <laughs> it makes me jump. It makes me jump when you do that. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, as you can see, I got those new bit sounds for you guys uh, as well. You do a thousand or more bits, it will drop the lightning on my ears. Make me jump a little bit. I always forget about it too. I always forget about it. It sneaks up on me. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that bit, love. Make sure to show a dog some love in the chat before he goes, everybody. Uh, always someone ruin it for another. I know, Mr. Stabs. Always uh, somebody trying to ruin it. I don't know if those are legit follows or not, uh, but uh, my peeps are watching it. My peeps are watching it. Uh, hey, Kesba, can you show off and explain how your contraptions DLC stuff at your settlement works? Absolutely the wit. I've explained it many times, but I'm going to give you a quick overview. It's not very complex. Basically, what it is is there's the workbench. Right now, the top half of the workbench is the, actually the most important part of the workbench if you're going to build yourself a Kismet Workshop Mega Sword. And I did this on day one of the contraptions. I decided, hey, that'd be kind of cool if you could take the thing and put it up against one of those little stoves and actually, because it's a container, it'll, it'll pull stuff. The vacuum hopper will pull stuff out of a container. Now, the workbench is just nothing more than a container, right? It holds all your stuff, holds up basically an unlimited amount of stuff, it holds about 25,000 uh, roughly amount of things in there. I've, I've never hit that limit, and I'm a super looter. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there have. Uh, and you put, put that up against it. Now, of course, you want to put it up toward the top part, nice and close. Now, right around the corner here, you can see there's that vacuum hopper run right up against the thing. Now, you can do it at all your settlements. And now, it does not work against the little stoves, uh, wherever I've got one of those somewhere here, somewhere over there. Uh, but it does work up against the workbench. And I thought, ah, it's not going to work. I'll put it up there and said, ah, you know, it's worth a try. And I turned it on, and it started coming out of there. So I'm the first one. I'm the first one to do the Contraptions Works order uh, live on Twitch. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. On day one of the Contraptions DLC, made myself the Kismet Megasaur. Now, this one's a bit more complex. The best thing to do is to run it nice and straight out of there. Build yourself a whole bunch of sorters along the way uh, and then take care of it that way. Take care of it that way. Now, again, it is still running here. Uh, I can see that up there, uh, you can see the little green light up there get my little thing there right there you can see a little green light on that uh, thing right here uh, that we can actually shoot and see up oh, if I had some ammo uh, and shoot and see if it goes off now let's go ahead and see if we have any 10 million millimeter ammo in here by luck by luck uh, there's a pistol in there ammo no 10 millimeter ammo well that's okay there's another way to fix that and that is to go like this, like so, uh, is to go in and go ahead and remove your current power lines. So I'm going to go ahead and say tab to store it in the workbench, and I'll say yes to take those power lines out, tab to take those out, and then same thing up here. Now this is constantly getting some power from somewhere. So once I take the power away, see, there we go. Now it's currently off. So it is actually working through that switch. The only problem is working through two switches. It's working through the switches up there and through down here. So if we go up here and we look. What do you need, General? Like this. There we go. Now the rest of the stuff sounds like it's running, but this is now turned off, right? So again, we, we have two switches on each side that we need to turn off. We need to turn this switch off and the switch over there to get it to stop. Now I currently don't have any ammo, so I'm kind of in trouble there uh, to get that going on. Uh, but let's go ahead and run over here. Now, some of you are looking down. Oh, look at this mess. I guess you got your but that just looks like junk to me. Uh, one of the problems if you have all your companions in one spot as well is that they'll all talk to you at the same time constantly uh, in your ear, which is kind of annoying. Now, eventually, as I get them up higher uh, in, their, uh, in their affection and all that stuff, I will uh, move them to somewhere else so I don't have to listen to them the whole time. Now, some of you are also looking at my bar down there. You're like, Kismet, food, water, sleep. I don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. I'm in my settlement. I'm in my settlement. I'm fairly safe here. I've got two Kismet kill boxes up on the high. That anything attacks my base is going to get annihilated. Even legendary death claws were to attack my base. I'm fine. Now, I don't really take care of that stuff. And I used to be paranoid about it when I first started playing this survival mode. I'm playing in the hardest mode, the hardest way you can play in melee mode. Uh, and, uh, Scoopy Scary Skeletons. Ah, I like that name. Thanks so much for dropping the Dragon Hammer. Crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, at the very beginning... Wakey, wakey blue. Uh, um, in the very beginning... 
Oh, look at that. I, uh, I successfully defended both of those, and I wasn't even there. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves. Uh, so what I did was is I uh, went through, and I tried to get that going on. Uh, I tried to get that going on. Someone threatened their life. Uh, Me? They, they just never, they never stop talking to you. They never stop talking to you. Uh, so as you can see, I, I basically just let it run. I let it run. Don't be so paranoid about it. Now, I can come over here. Get dude off of my thing there. Stop it. Uh, so I can get to it. And basically, I can drink some water if I need to. Again, if I'm not taking damage, I don't worry about it. But for you guys, I'll go ahead and take care of it. Because I know some of you with that obsessive disorder can't handle it. Uh, and I will go ahead and run eight hours forward as well. So we can also sleep to get rid of that sleep problem, the sleep deprivation. But also, we're going to forward time so we're more toward the daytime uh, to kind of hey. work on our sorter here a bit. There we go. It's kind of it's kind of froggy out there, though. Kind of froggy. Got that lover's embrace. Someday, All right. super mutants kill everything. You point? I'll shoot. Pretty simple arrangement. All right, and going down world again. World is bigger than strong new. The world is a big place. Now, a little foggy out here right now, but we're going to go ahead and continue to work a bit here on our sorter, and then we're going to head out. Head out. All right, now, right now, it's a like bit foggy out here, and if we go ahead and look here, we've got some uh, firework stuff we can use. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this back in here again. Like so, bam. And then I'm also going to tie this actually up into there. There we go. And again, you can see that this currently doesn't have any power because it's red right there. That means that it doesn't have any power. Uh, and if I go ahead and reconnect uh, our lines here, and then I'm going to need to turn that on up there somehow. Somehow. So I'm going to need some sort of weapon or something that's going to allow me to do that. Thank you so much for that follow again. We got Killers. Killzilla. And uh, Jockey Jones. Again, that seems that seems not legit. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Looks like I'm gonna have to gonna have to turn that off. Again, I like to. I don't mind acknowledging it on the stream. People trolling my channel is like a huge waste of time. Uh, it just makes it suck for the people who are legitly coming in and saying, Kismet, I love what you do, bro. I'm going to press that follow button. If you do press that follow button and let me know you are legit in the channel, I will go ahead and uh, take care of that. But again, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to promote uh, things. Now, some people will say nothing. Uh, me, I, I say something and then I move on. Uh, just to try to help other streamers out who might be experiencing the same issue. Uh, just to go and turn it off and then just, you know, uh, backtrack who it is. Uh, if you can tell which ones are fake, which one thing, send it in to Twitch. Twitch will then investigate it and then remove those from your follower list, which is what they're working on right now. Uh, this way I don't, I have way too many follows than I should have. Uh, I was trying to get 7,000 and of course they kind of messed that up for me. Uh, who my uh, legit 7,000th person is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disable that for now. Disable that for now. It's going to take me a few moments here, everybody. It's going to take me a few moments while it loads. Bam. Let's do it. Now, the cool thing is, uh, I did learn how to take care of that and how to report it and how to send it in Twitch and all that kind of stuff. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, let's go into the overlay manager. Now, uh, Stream Elements has a really cool thing for that where you can go into it uh, and uh, it's going to let me. Yeah, it's not working. Not working well today. Not working well today. All my stuff gone wonky. Yep. Yep, everybody. It's going to be a technical day today, everybody. For some reason, I can't get into my my panel people spamming my channel doesn't help me it doesn't help me if you're trying to help me I seriously doubt you are but if you're trying to help me that does not help me to spam my channel to to do that kind of stuff does not help anybody it just kind of screws them over kind of screws them over but maybe that's the point maybe that's what they're trying to do yes I cannot can I get my stuff to work Yep. 
Yep. All right. Well, let me go tell my buddies over there at Stream Elements I can't log into my panel. Uh, let's see if they're saying anything about it right now. All right. Oh, there we go. Managed to get into it over here. Now, I have uh, all the browsers running at the same time. I used to have Firefox, Chrome, and uh, Safari because I have Mac over there. Uh, but I usually have all of them running at the same time. If one doesn't work, uh, then a another one usually does. And I cannot get into anything. I cannot get it going on. Uh, we're going horribly off the rails. Horribly off the rails. Sorry, everybody. Sometimes this kind of stuff happens. A lot of technical glitches are happening. I'm trying in three different browsers on two different connections. I cannot, I cannot get into my uh, overlay manager. You know what? Watch this move. I put my alerts on a separate uh, thing, and I suggest you guys do so too. Uh, so simply, you can go in and boom, disable all of the alerts like so, and then I don't even need to go into the overlay. I always have a backup plan. Always have a backup plan in everything you do. See? No more alerts. No more alerts just like that. Uh, and again, I apologize if you are a legit person. Say hello in the chat. Uh, I know uh, some of you like to lurk and press that follow button. I appreciate all the legit peeps. Uh, yeah. Uh, how is it your fault someone is spamming your channel, Kismet? It's not my fault. Not my fault at all. I don't know, even know how to do that. I don't want to know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do uh, the other thing, which I can't even think of the name of it. It doesn't even cross my mind to do that stuff. It, I don't even think about doing that stuff. It's just, it's just a sleazy dirtbag thing to do. I mean, it doesn't help anybody. It just disrupts a person's stream. And you know, maybe it's like a 13-year-old kid, or maybe it's a, a, an adult who thinks like a 13-year-old kid or 10-year-old kid. I don't want to put 13-year-old kids down because they're above whoever's doing that. So, uh, so yeah, it just disrupts the stream. Uh, that's what their whole purpose is. It's just, to, you know, ha, 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 look what I did. I'm so smart. No, you're not smart at all, bro. You are hated by everybody right now. <laughs> you are hated by everybody, and that's what you got to do to bring your self-esteem up. You know what's better? Go out there and find a beautiful girl. Go out there and find a beautiful boy. Go out there, find somebody that you like, who will support you and bring you up. Bring up that self-esteem so you don't have to bring other people down. So you don't have to be that person. That person out there that everybody dislikes, right? You don't have to be that person who, uh, who is uh, constantly doing things that, are, of course, are tearing other people down. You know, you don't have to tear other people down. You don't have to. You really don't. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to go out there and be a positive force in the world. Now, of course, they're your choices. is all on you. Don't blame me. They're all your choices out there, peeps. All your choices. There we go. Pink Ranger says, I'm legit. So is Kellen Mall. Says, I'm legit too, Mr. Stab. If you are legit, throw it in the chat, everybody. Throw it in the chat that you are legit. Uh, it's called botting. That's what it's called. And I've crashed into many a botter who said I could do that. And I was like, hell to the no, no. Exactly. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how it's done. I don't care how it's done. All I want to know is how to... Uh, combat it and help other streamers combat it uh, and then let Twitch know, hey, Twitch, please remove all of those uh, phantom follows. I would like to have my follower uh, follower thing be legit so when I hit 7,000 or I hit those goals along the way, I can shout you guys out and say, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out in the stream because uh, I was going to do a 7,000 follower giveaway and our giveaways are not working. I apologize. I tried to do giveaways this weekend, but those giveaways are like messed up. Uh, and it's still being tested right now. I can't do it. I can't even get into my panels right now. Everything seems to be uh, kind of wonky right now. Uh, so uh, I do appreciate you guys, though, hanging out. Do you appreciate you guys hanging out here in the stream? So there we go. There we go. Look at all those legit peeps in the channel. We got Grey Wish. We got Kujan. We got That's Mr. Anand. You, David Dell. We got Pimp, Bees, Mod, R, Jar. Tons of legit. 
Look at that. Even uh, Monterey Pat came in and says, I'm a legit lurker. Thank you so much for being an awesome lurker. Appreciate you guys hanging out here in the stream. Back to lurker mode, says RJ. Feel free to lurk in my channel anytime. We are super lurker friendly. I typically do not call you out. I will not go in there and, you know, look in the names of everybody who's hanging out in the stream. I, I'm a bit of a lurker myself, and sometimes I like to be in mysterious stranger mode, like I like to call it here on the stream, obviously. What the heck? What the heck? I'm just standing around. He fell and hurt himself. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie? We're not doing good. We're getting distracted. Shake it off. Walk it off. Hey, Walk it off, Preston. Like this left. Come here, Nick. Nick. Time to hit the road again. Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter. Let's do it. Let's head out. Well, all right. Let's do it. I know I'm leaving him in good hands, Nick. How's the night going? Going Be good. Out there. I'll uh, keep out of trouble if he does. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. All right. Now, again, I sent Preston uh, to uh, Spectral Island as well. Uh, now, we got some power going here. Again, I was trying to find some uh, ammo uh, to shoot that thing up there. Because it kind of sucks when you have no ammo to shoot your gun. Now, let's see what I've got. I could throw a Molotov cocktail up there. I don't think that would go over well. Uh, let's see what else. I don't have any other weapons on me right now. But, of course, I do have some ammo uh, in my main base. Oh, there it went. There it goes now. Now it's working. It's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. Bam. Let's do it. Oh, so bored. Strong want to smash something. Anything. I gotta be honest with you. I feel more comfortable with a rocky ceiling above me. Strong my want to smash something. I get it, Strong. I get it. I get it, bro. We'll get out there and let you smash stuff later. Okay, so let's go over here to the keep box and see. Let's see. Oh, there's some 10 millimeter ammo right there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire off so some more power here. Want to do more fighting. Oh, in the, in the uh, fog. In the fog, people. I don't know if I'm getting it. Can't see. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. All right, we're getting sidetracked. Getting sidetracked. We'll come back to that. Safe to stand outside. Should find somewhere safer. Uh, bam. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff right here. And we're going to go ahead and fix this stuff up a little bit here. Now, we've got a bit of a problem with the corner here. So we're going to go ahead and store this stuff back in the workbench by hitting tab uh, and getting that. Let's go ahead and actually store this in the workbench, too. And we're going to go ahead and move the rest of the stuff if we can. Now, the best thing to do, of course, is take these uh, bottles and store them in the workbench or just to grab them. And we're going to try to move this a little bit closer. Now, notice what this does. It actually makes a, has trouble here with the actual uh, elevator. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move this back just a little bit. Turn that sideways for now. Maybe just stick it off to the side like that. Now, why am I not just storing that in the workbench? Well, this stuff right here. Miles, if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. Uh, this stuff right here is already Anything set up. All do? these sorters are already set up. And again, we're going to grab some stuff here along the way. Pick up our stuff. All right. Now, all this other stuff will be fine because it'll hang over a little bit. That stuff Strong will have trouble over there. Uh, and be? basically, uh, we'll keep on going. We'll keep on sorting stuff here. Uh, basically by bringing it a little bit closer and then what, what it'll do is it'll stop hitting this edge of the wall Now also what I could do is go ahead and expand the room if I wanted to uh, But I'm just gonna bring it a little bit closer here This way we have kind of an opening on the other side And then if anything does fall off the side of it We can go ahead and pick it up and put it in there. I'm just gonna have trouble here with my very first sorter uh, Which we will deal with here in just a minute. I'm gonna grab this one put it way over there and you guys kind of got the idea, right? We're just going to kind of grab this forward, move these things out of the way, like so. Now, what you can do is just go ahead and attach these things right back to where they go and get my foo over here. It used to say food. It used to say food. Now, right here, you might have a problem unless, oh, mama, it lines up. I thought it'd be pretty close. It does go a little bit into our elevator, but it does work. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to call that good. Uh, then same thing here. We're going to go ahead and hit this edge here. 
and back that up a little bit. Now I try to move it out of the way so that uh, it doesn't make it where you can't move your stuff. See, sometimes what will happen is it'll make it where it can't move the stuff because it's too close. So you want to kind of turn it a little bit, bring it over so it'll snap. There you go. And then turn it again so it snaps again. Now, if you notice, I have a bunch of these things over here, which are the sorters. In the sorters, I put the item I want to sort. So if it comes through there and it sees that there's some Addictol, you know, there's oh, okay, then uh, it will grab that Addictol and it will then sort it down the line. It'll, it'll divert it down into that container. If I don't have, uh, if it's not something that's in that sorter there, I, you only have to put one item in there. If it's not something in that sorter, it will then continue it down the, the line. Or That's why I call no, it the Mega Sorter. Uh, now, the rest of the stuff here uh, is going to need to be moved uh, kind of over this way, like so. Again, you can see I've got a lot of stuff here, and you want to go ahead and uh, kind of test out uh, your various sorters and whatnot uh, to try to get them to work. Now, in this case, in this case, I'm going to try to get over here. See if I can put it way over there. Oh, there we go. Using my scroll wheel a little bit. Try to get it over there. There we go. Uh, to get that one out of the way, we'll go ahead and store this one. The workbench knows the stuff comes out of there. All right. We've got a bunch of stuff there in the corner. So, again, we like to improve upon our designs uh, every single time as much as we can. There we go. And now we can get back to this corner over here. We can pick up all this stuff. Now, again, what happens is uh, your stuff, uh, your big armor... Like, uh, you know, your uh, armor for uh, your super mutants and stuff like that will cause it to get junked up. Cause it. Hey, Long, what's up, man? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm legit. Even uh, have a Fallout t-shirt on. There you go, Iron Chief. I got my overburden with kiss caps on. <laughs> One of my favorite shirts. I have another favorite shirt coming up very soon. I think you're all going to love it. I think you're going to love it. Now, here's the test. Here's the test. My wife got a preview of the new shirt and new emotes coming out, and she said that she wanted one. That's uh, that's uh, that's how you know. My wife typically doesn't like uh, computer uh, gaming T-shirts, but uh, in my case, uh, she wants to get that one. So, hopefully, you guys love it. I work very hard on it, uh, and uh, I've hired an artist to help me with it as well because I just only got so much time in the day. Only so much time in the day. All right, let's keep going here. Now, there is a, uh, a thing right here that's kind of blocking our way. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that now uh, and see if we can go ahead and rearrange a bit of this. Rearrange a bit of this. Now, we're falling a little bit behind here. I didn't want to be a little bit further, but uh, falling behind because of our uh, issue there with, uh, with that follow stuff. I'm going to put in a thing there. I hope we find milk of human kindness soon. Just kind of move this off to the side like so. Like so. Now, again, we're going to have the same kind of problem here uh, with this particular area. Uh, what I might do is I might go ahead and just uh, uh, make a sorter, uh, make these sorters off to the side here. Grab this final uh, kind of sorter, which is our kind of final thing, and just stick it there right now. Deal with the rest of it later. So all the stuff I want to keep, it's going to sort. And all the stuff that I don't want to keep. Uh, it's going to just kind of uh, run the rest of that down the end and just run it right in here for now things like uh, Food ammo all that stuff. You don't have to make it as complex as me You don't have to make it where it's actually taking the individual items that you don't want and put it in separate sorters You in fact don't even need those sorters You can just say okay everything that I don't want just let it go to the end and then sell all of that stuff at the same time You don't have to have it micro sort all of that stuff it's actually probably a better way to sort it. Just sort the stuff you want to keep, much like email, right? Email, sometimes you get so much spam email that it's better to sort the stuff you want to keep than to try to sort everything and work with the spam and all that. Sort out the stuff you want to keep, then throw all the rest of it away. And that's basically uh, the design I'm going to try right now. Uh, basically, just have it sort the stuff that I want to keep. Uh, in this case, uh, also uh, some for sale food. Because you never know, sometimes that food you want to keep for some reason. Uh, for some reason to make certain food. But all the rest of this stuff here uh, is for... Uh, a Come on, human. Nothing to see here. Whatever, Strong. Whatever, bro. I'm working here, bro. Bam. And again, there we go. Now it's not going to hit the wall anymore. It's not going to glitch the wall. It's going to go ahead and sort this all the way over here. Let's go ahead and fire this baby up. Now, of course, we need to wor worry about the fire. 
Hope you ain't here for me. We need to fire up the thing here. Now, notice that the, the actual wire is running right here, which is not going to help us. So we're going to go ahead and run it over to this one, if we can. If we can get there, we'll try to run it across here somewhere. Oh, can't run it that way. All right, well, forget that. What we'll do is we'll move it to the other side of the room. So we're going to go ahead and take this out, store it in the workbench, take that out, store it in the workbench, pick up all this kind of random stuff, just laying around. Try to jump our way over here again, grab all that random stuff. Going to leave that stuff right there. Now, over here on the wall is also another one of these things. Uh, as you can see, it's like a wireless power conduit. It actually uses the flooring. It comes from that power thing down there, up through the elevators over there. Then it runs all the way through the floors to this wall socket. And then the wall socket I can drag out, and then uh, it will actually power uh, all of my stuff. As you can see, it's now powered. Uh, and if we go over here, you can see it start to go. And it actually powers all the way back down to the very beginning. And you can see that is now powered up. Now, I don't have the ability to stop it from running right now other than to take the wire out. When I take the wire out, we can then again look and see <laughs> if it stopped. Never thought consider themselves that. a success until someone threatened their life. Me? All right. I'm very successful. They're very talkative today. They love talking in my ear sometimes. Talking in my ear while I'm trying to talk to you guys. So let's go ahead and put a switch pylon uh, thing here. We're going to go ahead and run that to the switch pylon and run that over here. And then now it's going to go ahead and start up again. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and just let the mega sorter go. See if it sorts a bit better. If stuff falls off of there, we'll be able to access it easier. Now, again, I like to test different uh, builds and see what happens. Uh, so there we go. There we go. Slasher says I'm legit. Exactly. Thanks for being legit, everybody. Uh, might be uh, past the gun's max range. Gear, I have shot it from here before. I think it's just because it's foggy. Uh, it's 4 a.m. There we go. Got to go, uh, Sony Vegas guy, just to set up and learn some neat things. All right, cool. Uh, a great wish. Have a great night, bro. Uh, how many hours uh, you got in this playthrough? This particular one? That's a good question. Let's see. Uh, nine days, 22 hours, and 19 minutes. In this particular playthrough, I have a total of 1,800 and nearly 50 hours uh, here in Fallout 4. This is my fifth playthrough uh, in here. Now, I've played in the normal mode. About 500 hours. Uh, got to level 91. Said, this is getting too easy. Didn't even bother to finish the game. Uh, started all over again in survival mode. Said, let's try survival mode out. Said, that's ah, pretty hard. Pretty tough. In the very beginning. Of course, you get past level 40 in the old survival mode. You're like, eh, it's getting a little easy. Uh, then I went ahead and finished it in the railroad line. Then I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and try this new survival mode thing out. Uh, and that's much harder. About 10 to 100 times harder than the other modes. Started all over from scratch again. Got to level 100 and something. I can't remember. 20, 30 or whatever it was. Uh, I don't worry about levels. I don't consider like leveling in Fallout 4 like a big giant achievement. Like, hey, hey everybody, look at me. I'm special. I got to level 350. Well... I could grind out levels like nobody's business in this game if I really wanted to. Uh, I don't consider that achievement. I consider getting the most fun out of your game, uh, the most enjoyment for your money out of your game. I think that is the ultimate achievement in game. Now, I do not use third-party mods. I do not cheat. Oh, I do not I'm shortcut not in any way um, because I think it actually cheats you out of the enjoyment of the game. It's not cheating the game. It's cheating yourself out of it. I've learned that lesson a long time ago. Good. A long, long Trust time ago me. in the early days Taste of game because I'm the original. I'm the original OG streamer uh, and the original or original OG Fallout it. streamer, uh, Fallout 4 streamer, as well as the original uh, gamer back in the day. Back in the day. Grab that purified it water out of there. Show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Wish Buckethead would show up. Huh? I'd rip his legs clean off. Okay, whatever. Keep leading and whatever. All right, we got to get back on the trail of my buddy Nick. So we're out of here. Oh, wait. One small problem. Almost forgot my power armor again. Let's do it. Maybe back up we go. Kill us, back up we go. No dee 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 Yay! Brave Sir Robin. Why humans like nature? Just... All right, Strong, you, you, you're talking like a girl on prom day or something. What is your deal today? What is with the talky-talky? What is with all the talky in my ear, bro? All right, I'm going to go ahead and put all this away here. Got a whole bunch of potatoes, mute fruit. We can make ourselves some vegetable soup. I think that's what we need to do here. Miscellaneous, we'll uh, do that. A whole bunch of junk on me there. There we go. Now I'm down, not overburdened. Uh, we're going to need to make some vegetable soup. Let's do that real quick Why before we go. Like nature. 
Just dirt and plants. I, I get it. I get it strong, bro. Chill out, man. Chill out. Take a chill pill over there. All right, so we need uh, four uh, potatoes. We need some carrots, which we've got 571. I think we got a little bit. I think we got enough. Let's go ahead and see if we actually have any vegetable soup here in our food. Oh, we do. Oh, okay, we already got some. We don't need to make any. Okay, cool. We got some. We'll do that another time. Bam. All right. Now, I like vegetable soup because it's both food and water and fairly uh, light to carry around. So bored. Strong want to smash something. Anything. Just looking for a hand. Oh. Oh, do I swear it's like I have multiple personalities in my in my head. A ton of them. Now we just did a ton of stuff. We better save. We better save everybody. Boom. Lovely night. There we go. Yes, it was. It was very lovely. Human. Not matter how. All right, we out of here, everybody. We got to get out into the wasteland. Let's get it going on. Uh, Montana says, "Wow, yes, I have a lot of hours. I'm the original Fallout 4 streamer as well as official original Fallout Shelter streamer." Uh, if you've ever played Fallout Shelter, I play a whole lot of that. I like. I'm getting away from these people. I'm getting away from them. They do nothing but talk in my ear. Ah, it's like one of my ex-girlfriends. Like one of my ex-girlfriends. There's nothing but stop talking. One will never stop talking in my ear every minute of every day. I'm trying to, trying to do I'm trying to save the wasteland here, people. I'm trying to save the wasteland. You guys are standing around at the base while I'm out there getting shot at, and all you can do is chatty, chatty, chat, chat. Well, that's enough chatting. That's enough talking. We got to get out here and get in some trouble. Let's do it. Telling me all your problems. Now, I don't mind helping you guys out, but we yappy, yap, yap. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez with the yappy, yap, yap in my ear. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have some of this vegetable soup, even though I'm going to waste it a little bit. Wasting it a little bit because it does both do both food and water. But we're going to try to get our food up at least Too a bit. Fun. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for a bird to bird oh, to show up. I always wanted to say that. McCready. McCready. Airborne, brother, tossing you some. There you go, uh, HHS uh, Grim. Thanks for hanging out, bro. Uh, Kesmet, do you use mods not to cheat, but to maybe build or just mess around? I have tried some mods out. I tried the Superman mod and weapon. all that stuff. When my uh, when my gameplay is done, when I'm done doing everything in the game, I will try mods out like their DLC, right? Because uh, I'm a big fan of the modding community. Big love to modders out there who do spend a lot of time and effort on their weekends and a spare time making these amazing things. Some of those modders go on to actually work for the companies that they're modding it for. They do an amazing jobs. So much love to the modders. But I don't do it because it feels like shortcutting or cheating to me when I do it very early in my playthrough. Now, if I did it while I was doing melee mode, if I had like a Hulk thing where every time I hit, you know, right, they went flying or it did an insta death or any of that kind of stuff for the mobs, I feel like it's kind of cheating. Like I'm shortcutting the game and I'm missing out on a lot of adventures that I would have had had I not made it so easy for myself. Now, some of those mods make it harder. Some of the mods make it more difficult to play. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. That is totally a legit way of doing it. But, eh, but there you go. Beast mod with a 206 bits. This. Thank you so much for that 206 bits. Let me go ahead and repeat that. Let me go ahead and repeat that. It's going to let me. Taking a long time today. Taking a long time. But thank you so much, Beast mod. Appreciate the bits. Appreciate that bits love. All right, here we go, everybody. We out here. Gotta be honest, we out of here. Feel more comfortable with the ceiling above Ciao for now, people. All right, see you, Mr. Stabs. We're going to get out there and get in some trouble. Go to the wasteland and have some peace and quiet. I, I find the wasteland more peace and quiet than people yapping in my ear every every second about their problems, about the wham, 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 wham all the time. All right, we got to go over here, and we got to go to the Malden Center uh, right here. We got any uh, settlements close by? Oh, let's go to Green Top Nursery. I haven't been there in a while. Glad to have you aboard. We'll be taking off. Let's in a go. Moment. All right, we took care of some of our food. We took care of our water. We took care of Weapon our. Uh, ready to bring the pain, sir. Uh, we took care of our, uh, our a bit of our food, our water. We took care of our uh, sleeping so that we uh, both saved and also uh, it uh, took uh, took care of that condition. Uh, we don't have any other conditions right now because in the new survival mode, you have all of the stuff you have to micromanage. Now, I used to be paranoid about it when I first started playing the new survival mode. Again, I've played through five times now. This is melee mode I'm playing in. Uh, it's very difficult, very difficult at the very beginning. Uh, you will die a whole lot like me, 106 times down there. 106 times, and I don't consider that a lot. Sometimes I get all crazy. I just like kamikaze, try to run and gun, 
Run and gunning in uh, in the new survive mode is very tough. Even if you have power armor like I do, have the power armor all built up to maximum, still one or two shot it. You can still get, uh, I got one shot the other day. It was like, boom, dead, just like one shot. Uh, so it's more like uh, I use it more for the uh, the jetpack than anything else. And of course, you got to hide behind stuff and use your use your battle tactics. Use your battle tactics. But yes, I will actually use some mods when I'm done with this playthrough as well. I will try them out. Uh, Kiz, is there any tips for Fallout Shelter? Now, I get that all the time. Like, hey, Kismet, man, uh, you got lots of amazing tips for Fallout Shelter. Uh, could you make like a video or something like that that could help us with those tips for Fallout Shelter? Maybe if you could put your uh, your, your actual uh, full streams up there, I could watch your full streams of Fallout Shelter and see how you build up your vault from scratch. You're welcome. YouTube.com, Kismet BP, my entire Fallout Shelter playthroughs on there. So you can go in there and you can watch, you can skip ahead, see how I build my vault, see all those different tips. Whoa, look out, hold on. Taking some fire. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky I can't see you because I would come back to kill every last one of you. Kill every last one of you. Little puppies. Little puppies. They're not blowing up any cars either. I think I already blew all these cars up. I already blew all these cars up. As well. Now, also, what I'm going to do is go ahead and throw in the chat. Boom. Right there. Just to make it super easy for you, Vulcan, I actually throw uh, uh, the actual direct links to both of my Fallout Shelter guides. Uh, right in the chat there. So you go ahead and click on those. They will uh, tell you a bit of the basics, but then also they will go into just a rapid-fire tips, like night mode. Now, if you haven't discovered night mode, it is the great... Oh, wait, car! Gotcha! Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I ran and blow stuff up, because it's fun. That's why I do it, because it's fun. Here we are, coming into uh, Green Top Nursery. Look at this baby. Look at this. We got the Kismet Kill Box on high going on. There we go, landing like a boss. This is how you show up your settlements like a boss. You're like, sup, sup, everybody. Just came in on my own private bird bird. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So yeah, there's some direct links to Fallout Shelter guides. Enjoy, enjoy. If you do like them, make sure to hit that like button. If you really like them, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of various stuff. I have a lot of stuff going up. I was editing 70 videos today. 70 videos. I still got more of them to do. Still got more of them to do. That's how uh, hardcore I am behind the scenes. Now, a lot of people don't know that I literally work seven days a week. Every minute of every day, I try to spend time working on my stream behind the scenes as well as the stream themselves. Now, we'll probably go a little bit shorter again because I have a lot of things to work on tomorrow. Uh, but, of course, we're going to be going all night long, though. We've got lots and lots of time left of the stream. So hang out have some fun. So let's go ahead and save so we don't have to do all that travel again. Oh, Too many folks look. These days count the fog on went away. To solve their problem. And the fog went away. All right. And we go for a little walkabout. You only have to look around to see where that got us. Oh. What the? Kismet kill box is on the loose! It's over. For now. <laughs> My walking today. Learn to walk today, Kismet. It's one second of lag and off the side I go. So yeah, as you can see, I've got my turrets here in a certain configuration, which I call the Kismet Kill Box. Anybody comes walking up to the settlement, all the turrets will turn in whatever direction they are in 360 degrees, like so, and take anything out in your base. That's all you need. You don't need no walls. You don't need no people standing guard. You don't need no special traps or all that. Put a Kismet Kill Box at your settlement. Take a picture of it. Tweet it to me. Uh, uh, Twitter.com, KismetVP. Hit that follow button while you're there as well. Uh, I'd love to see it. I love to see uh, people who build various things from uh, my stream. Very cool. Same thing if with Fallout Shelter. If you build an amazing ball, you're like, Kismet, I used your tips. They work awesome. Boom. Send me a tweet of that. I might even show that stuff on stream. I might even show it. I usually don't show it the day you tweeted to me. I usually show it the next time. Uh, just a heads up. Just a heads up. Because I do, I do check my Twitter and all that stuff later so that it doesn't disrupt the stream. Uh, slow me down while I'm playing. Uh, so right. Clearly not enough water purifiers yeah. out there. Yeah, Montana. That's how I make my money. Now, again, I do not cheat. I do not shortcut. I do not glitch. Uh, I play totally legit. And I play in such a way that whether you're on PC like me, PS4, Xbox, doesn't matter to me. Wherever you're playing the game, wherever you're having fun, that's what it's all about. I don't care what console you're on. I don't care if you're on PC or not. I don't care if you're on a, a mobile doesn't matter to me. As long as you're having lots of fun, then that's what gaming is all about. You should be able to do all of those or 
none of those, whatever you want to do, right? They're your choices. You get to choose them. Uh, so you can do everything that I'm doing. Yeah, as long as you, of course, have the DLC, you could go ahead and do the contraptions. But if you don't have the DLC, you can do it totally in the vanilla version. Uh, you can go through, build up a lot of water purifiers, and be like me at day 20. And you can see it in my entire playthrough on YouTube. Gives me BP. Uh, you can see my entire playthrough. There's actually a playlist of my current melee playthrough. You can see it from the very beginning. Uh, and see how I built myself up. By level 20, I was already making 20,000 bottle caps every few days in game from water purifiers. Then, eventually, over time, I make my way where I'm at right now, 60 to 80,000 uh, uh, 60 80, caps worth of purified water I'm producing right now. And by the time I'm done with this playthrough, I'll be making in the neighborhood of over 100,000 bottle caps every few days in game, which means that I can literally go and buy out every single vendor in the wasteland. I will basically make millions of caps before the end of this, uh, before the end of this playthrough. Uh, and again, thanks to everybody who is actually legitly hitting that follow button right now. I do apologize that I disabled my alerts because uh, somebody is spamming my uh, channel right now. So there we go. Uh, there we go. Because if a dweller has max in special stat, uh, if you put a piece of armor on them, uh, will it raise the stat over 10? Ah, here's how you know, Vulcan. Here's how you know. Watch the time. Um, we're talking about Fallout Shelter, uh, by the way, everybody. Uh, watch the time down below. That's how you know. So have somebody at max 10 stats, like great example is uh, agility, right? Have them at 10 stats. Now I get them leveled up as quick as possible. Take their outfit. Maybe you got a plus five outfit, right, for agility. Put it on them and watch as the time drops, which means it's having an effect. It does have an effect after level 10. So I put plus seven on all my peeps, on all my peeps. Now, I will be getting back to Fallout Shelter. I know a lot of you love uh, to see me play Fallout Shelter right now, making a big push for partnership every night, seven days a week. Now, I'm all in. I'm all in. I bleed purple. I love Twitch. People saying, Kismet, you should go to YouTube. Kismet, you should go to this thing or that other thing. You know what? I appreciate a great platform. I appreciate people who do an amazing work at what they do. Twitch is an amazing platform. It is the pioneering platform for what we love to do, which is gaming and streaming and all of that fun stuff. That's where I would want to be. That's the, that's the kind of excellent service that I would want to align myself with. Now, YouTube has been making lots of mistakes over there, and I'm sorry for their mistakes, but that is the honest truth. They've been screwing up a lot. They've been screwing up a lot over there. Now, I make about four bucks on YouTube. That's what I make, four, $4 per month. By putting literally hundreds, uh, hundreds of videos up there and terabytes of uh, videos up online. I have over 600 on there. So that's how much I make. Which uh, doesn't go to me anyway. It goes right into the stream to keep it going. But that's not, that's not going to uh, make the wife happy. That's not going to make the wife happy. It's not going to keep the kids fed. But I do it because it's an extra bit of content for you guys. It is a massive undertaking. Right now about 4 terabytes of videos to upload. Four terabytes, 70 videos. It's in a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes. I spent my entire day editing a whole bunch of stuff down for you guys and processing it and running. It's running right now. It's running right now. Let's see if it's done over here. Uh, nope. Got a whole bunch more still to, to process in that other machine. Uh, I let all that stuff run. Like right now, I have two connections. One runs up to YouTube. Uh, one also uh, is for the live stream right now. So there we go. There we go. So that should help you, bro. If that does help you, go for it. Better grab my phone. There you go, AP Vulcan. I hope that helps you out, man. Uh, I have a number of water making money settlements myself. Nowhere near as many as you, though. Well, Montana, it takes time to build that resources up. Now, I take the resources, I reinvest them and reinvest them. Uh, let me go ahead and do a nice 12 hours. Let's go all the way to the morning time. Uh, I reinvest and reinvest. So I'll get that purified water. I'll sell it to the vendor. I'll sell all my extra stuff to the vendor and buy just the resources I need to buy more water purifiers Cause, because it's called compounding, like compound interest, right? If you guys aren't familiar with compounding, basically it means that you, you take one thing and you start off with a little bit and then you take it and you make it into double and then double again and double again and double, 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 double. Before you know, boom, you've got, right? Great example is when you're doing food. Say you're making food like mute fruit down here, right? Now, you're like, Kismet, where do I get the mute fruit? Oh, all over the place. Diamond City, you can buy it from a vendor, whatever it is. You only need one. Easy living. This you only need one. You're like, Kismet, well, you got a whole bunch. How'd you get a whole bunch, bro? Here's what I did. I put one down. I wait for it to become fruit. Then I pick the fruit. Seems to be growing well. 
Seems to be growing well. And then I put another one down. Now I got two, right? And then wait for those to grow. Then I got four. Then I got eight. Then I got 16. Then I got 32. Uh, yeah. Then you I got plenty. Take things one day at a right? time. Then I got plenty. Now I don't even need to collect this. They will collect this eventually and put this in the workbench. Uh, also, you can see that this uh, settlement is pretty squared away. Right, got 18 people there, 24 food, 21 water, 3 power, 48 defense, 22 beds, and 61 happiness. Not bad, not bad. Now, of course, if I built them a nice house for them to live in where they had a legit ceiling and didn't have to sleep on sleeping bags, that would go up to about 70, 80%. And that's what I shoot for. Now, some people say, Kismet, how do you get 100% happiness at your settlement? Very easy. Uh, once you have enough, uh, once you have enough resources and cash, you can literally just buy a whole bunch of these clinics here, buy about 12 of them or 15 of them, put them down, put put about four people on your food, and put all the rest of your people. If you have about 20 people, put them on the clinics and just wait, because what the clinics do is they actually boost the happiness of your settlement. Now, to even boost even more of my settlement, I will put all of the uh, the happiness boosting uh, vendors down. Uh, each time. So the clinic, of course, boosts happiness. And we go look over here at the stores. Uh, also, what boosts their happiness is, of course, the bar, the food and drink. Uh, the uh, clothing uh, also boosts it, uh, as well as the general trader, as I like to call them, or just trader. Uh, those are all boosted. Now, of course, armor and weapons are ones that actually make you more money uh, than it does. It does no happiness as well. But, of course, a great way to make money to pay for making more of these things. Now, I'll go around at some point and upgrade all of my settlements to an obscene amount, right? Because I'm now making about sixty to 80,000 bottle caps. But we're, on, we're doing kind of questing right now. And I try to go back and forth. I do a little bit of settlements, a little bit of questing, a little bit of settlement, to vary my gameplay. You don't want, if you do one thing too much and you just grind and grind and grind that one thing, I find it just sucks some of the fun out. Sucks some of the fun out of the game. Now, I like to kind of mix it up. I'm in no hurry. I'm in no hurry to rush to the end of the game. You know what that does? That sucks the fun out of it for me. I like to do my stuff, and I like to do it different every single time. I don't try to do it the same every single time. Even though some of my designs are incredibly, uh, incredibly effective uh, and would work perfectly in another playthrough, I try to mix things up so I can learn new stuff each time. Now, what we're going to do is get up here on high, look for any bad guys. Oh, there's a bad guy. Hey. Go on. Go check that out. Sure thing. Come on, doggy. Get him. Nick's on the job. Gotcha. Oh, what's he got? Troubleshooters left their left arm reduces damage from robots by 15%. Another one for the legendary uh, legendary museum. I'm collecting all legendaries now for our final museum, uh, our legendary museum that we will put together at some point. At some point. Now again, we're gonna go ahead and oh, I see some an evil car there. I see an evil car now. This is actually in that direction. Uh, we're gonna have to go over there, but I see an evil car down there. It must be destroyed. It must be destroyed. No cars are allowed to live. They're trying to take over the wasteland, and I must destroy them all. Oh, that was a good shot. Boom! Bye-bye, sucker. Watch out for those cars. They're evil. They're evil. Now, while you're walking, by the way, if you are playing uh, in uh, the kind of normal mode here. What about here? Rust Devil. Just leaving free loot laying around. Well, thanks for that free loot. Thanks for the free loot. Appreciate it. Kind of makes me paranoid there's some more rust devils around, doesn't it? Doesn't it when you just see a dead one there? Uh, and I need to go in this direction here. Let's burn some fusion cores while we're at it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeehaw! Let's get up there. Oh, I see some more evil cars coming up, everybody. Now, what we're doing is we're doing Nick's quest here. We're trying to get Nick's up to 100% happiness so we can get his perk. Oh, look out! Sneaky little buggers. Sneaky little buggers trying to sneak up behind me, but Nick's got my back. Give me some blow five meat. No more sneaky buggers. Don't see any more sneakies. All right. Take that. Bam. Now, why do I blow up the cars? Well, better they blow up when I'm over here than when I'm standing next to them. Also, it's just super fun. It's just super fun. Actually, it took me like, I think, my second or third playthrough before I realized you could blow up the cars, which is super fun. Super, super fun. 
Now this right here, it doesn't look like it can be blown up. And I usually look inside here first before I blow stuff up. You never know what you'll find. I've actually found all sorts of cool stuff in these things. And Nick's way over there, so we might be good to blow that one up too. A little too close there, Nick. All right. Oh yeah, look out. All right. Now we're getting some stuff done. <laughs> getting some stuff done. Blowing up some cars. All right, here we are. We're going to go here to uh, the main area that Nick is asking us to go to. Uh-oh. Uh hey. I'm listening. Over here. Good plan. Getting Nick. Now use your companions. Drop them. Use your companions. All right. Back you up. Is inevitable. Whoa, look out. Take that, ah! Synth. Home run. All right. Now, watch out for Synths. They're sneaky. They're sneaky, sneaky. Where's that other... I think that was a Synth right there. Slocum Joe's Corporate Headquarters. Now, again, look at all these little uh, places that you can find uh, that have a bunch of nice oh, loot in it. For taste. I like to grab all the loot because I'm a super looter. I get all the loot. Oh, look at that over there. Look at that over there. More cars to blow up. Let's get them. Hi there, Mad Max. What's up, man? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're new to the stream, please feel free to say hello. Exactly. Exactly. Feel free to say hi there. Uh, Bees Mod saying hello to Mad Max. I love, see, I love to see that when people come into the stream. If you want to really welcome people to the Kismet Army, here's what you do. If you take an extra moment, when they say hi in the chat, say hi back to them. Just take an extra moment to say hello so they feel welcome here in the stream. That's what we like to do. I don't care whether you've been here for one minute or whether you've been here for years. Uh, feel free to say hi to those peeps. I know that when I go on people's stream, uh, just random streams that I go into and I'm trying to check out the community in there, uh, that when I say hi and nobody says hi back, I kind of feel kind of feel like nobody cares, right? Kind of feels like nobody cares whether I'm there or not. And I like to improve my stream every single time. Every single night, I try to make this the best stream ever. And this is the one. You're in the best stream ever right now. Uh, this best stream ever is number, let's see, what number am I on? A lot. Uh, this is number 139. That's right, 139 streams in a row of me trying to make them better than the one before. And I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. I try to work very, very hard on my streams seven days a week. Seven days a week because sometimes you got to say, yo, Twitch, I'm all in, bro. Come on, give me some of that partnership love. And they're like, Kismet. We want to see if you can step it up. We want to see if you're totally committed to bleeding purple up in here, right? To being committed to being a full-time streamer and being that, getting that uh, partnership love. And I'm like, challenge accepted, bro. Challenge accepted. I'm on it. I'm on it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I appreciate all you guys hanging out. And some of you are like, Kesmet, how can I help, bro? How can I help? I love your streams. I know you work super hard at it. Uh, how can I help? Well, what you do is you go ahead and just hang out in the stream. Just do what you're doing already. Hang out in the stream. That does help me a lot. Uh, if you just hang out and no matter what stream I'm doing, just come in, chill out, have a good time. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa. Hello, Super Mutant Gone Postal. Whoa. Car's gone. Blow it up. You done died, bro. You done died. Crazy kamikaze uh, super mutants down there. I hear that noise. I instantly go into panic mode. That means that dude's running with a fat boy. He's holding it in his hand. He's like, come here. Let me give you a big smooch. And he just like suicides right in your face. Better my provisioner than me. Oh, oh wait. Over here. Let's do this. Oh, I, I need a grenade. Oh, I don't want to do a grenade. I might kill my own person. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to kill my own peeps. Now, see, I can't, I can't use my ranged weapon because I'm playing melee mode. That means we need to get into some trouble. First, we need to blow up some cars. We need to blow up some cars. We got to have priorities here, people. I know I could go help my provisioner, but first, some cars must be destroyed. Some things, some priorities must be done. Now, let's go get him. Let's go do this. 
Let's play, little human. What's that noise? Oh, what's up, home slice? Coming at your face. Oh. Ah, darn it, stop it. Oh. Bye bye, third person mode. Third third person kill there. There we go. Now this place right here is just crawling full of super guns. Look out. Look out. Look out over there. Now we gotta go into this police station here. We got to go and see what's going on down in here. Uh, of course, I'm gonna super loop my way through this baby. Uh, we were gonna grab that Eddie Winter tape there, but we got a little distracted. Got a little distracted. We wanna listen in without having no super mutants right in our face. So let's go ahead and listen in. Message to Robert Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish a fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard, doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, long as Johnny Senior never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. All right, now Eddie Winter there is uh, in, in incriminating everybody else. Uh, in our kind of uh, run here, we're trying to follow the Eddie Winter uh, thing, which is going to, of course, get Nick up to max affection, which is going to give us a special perk. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the perk is, and please don't spoil it in the chat for people who have not played Fallout before. I will warn you uh, before I uh, talk about what the perk is uh, once I get it eventually. All right, I think we got it going on. Uh, let's see what we got next. All right, we got one more. One more to go, and that is here at the Coast Guard Pier, I think, right? Yeah, Coast Guard Pier. That's it. That's where we're going to go. We're done here, peeps. We're out of here. Now, we just happen to be nice and close to one of my settlements, so I'm going to go ahead and just stop by it real quick. Now, this is one of the settlements I use kind of as my central base as I move across the wasteland because early in the game, I don't have the ability to quick travel. Uh, when you're in the new survival mode, you cannot quick travel. You cannot instant save. you got to find yourself a bed to save in. Uh, so you do really work off of your settlements, and you do have a tendency to play the game very differently than you play it when you can just quick travel across the whole entire world. Now, I find uh, the regular modes too easy now. Really, I honestly do find them too easy because I can just literally win every single time. I can win every single time. Oh, boy. Uh oh Run, Forrest, run. There's, a, there's an assault bot up there. Whoa, hello, billet bug. Now, watch this as I kind of dodge and weave. Bob and weave, Kismet. Bob and weave, bro. Watch this. Killbox, do your thing. What just happened? <laughs> Find him. Now this is the Kismet Killbox right here. As you can see, it's defending my settlement. Come on, Nick. Bring him on over here. Now as the bad guys show up here. What'll happen here is the Kismet Killbox will do his job. Look at all my people Maybe mobilizing. Here, watching us, laughing. Here they come. You can see my robots are over there taking them out. And now they are dead. Now wait, here comes another one. Here comes another one. Watch as the Kismet Killbox kicks in. Bam. So there we go. So you can go ahead and drag the mobs back to your settlement. Again, this is uh, Tavity and Boathouse here. So you can see I've got it really built up. I've got multiple kill boxes. I've got all of the vendors down below. I've got lots of potatoes, uh, carrots going on there, and some mute fruit on the other side. As well as over there, I've got a bunch of water purifiers. Now, again, this is one of my early bases. Right now, this is producing about 10,000 bottle caps just in its own self. Just in its own self. And you're like, Kismet, how are you doing that, bro? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Again, potatoes and carrots allow me to create vegetable soup. All you need, of course, is some dirty water as well. Collect every single one of those bottles, run down to the water, fill them up with dirty water, and bam, you got yourself a lot of vegetable soup. Now over here you can see all my water purifiers. Let's go up here on high so we can just take a little peek here. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of water purifiers. you got to get your science up uh, to get that many purifiers or get the larger purifiers. But once you have your science up, you can run them all the way around your base. Uh, and then, of course, you want to keep collecting resources and collecting resources. I buy resources from the vendors. I also go out and do what I call super looting, where I loot everything. 
all of it. I grab every last little piece and I bring it back so I can then sell it or use it to make water purifiers, which of course then makes me more money, which is compounding the amount of money that I'm making. And it's called being a wasteland tycoon. Uh, that's what uh, some people call me, or I call it an awesome settlement overseer, where basically you're running all your settlements like they're a business. And basically, it's going to make me a lot, a lot of cash. Right now, I bet you there's a lot of water, uh, purified water in here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. A little late, says Ralph the Man. Going good. Big time lurker. There you go, like uh, those Minecraft lurkers. Uh, or uh, what are those Minecraft things called? My kids love that game, by the way. They love Minecraft. I played some Minecraft with them. Uh, I built them a big giant sky garden. If you want to see that, it's on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, what are those things called? What are those darn things called? I am, I just like totally, I was talking to my kids and I was using their name earlier. Using their name earlier. Uh, what is the name of those things? What is the name of those things? They have a special name. Creeper. That's what they're called. Creepers. Duh. Suddenly came to me there. Suddenly came to me. I was like, see, now I have a thing called sleep apnea. And what happens is my brain like comes to an instant stop because I don't get enough sleep. So like I'll know something. It'll be there in the back of my mind, but I can't retrieve it. It's like having a faulty hard drive. It's like having a faulty hard drive, you can't get it there. So right now we've got 291 purified water in there. Which isn't too bad. Not getting anywhere. So you talk and then I go ahead and grab all that stuff out of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk to Nick here. And, some and I, he's got a whole bunch of stuff on him right now too that uh, I need to get off of him. Now, what I can do is go ahead and grab a bunch of this stuff, like so, that he has. I usually like to give him all the junk. A little bit easier to get the junk off of him. Now also he's got kind of a backup fusion cores as well. He uses it for his Gatlin laser as well as, as a backup one in case I run out of fusion cores as well. Now we got RDS Noah Boy here. We're going to talk to right now, and you're like, Kismet, what does the RDS mean? Well, I'm going to show you here in just a second. Let's get moving. Now, I got him just on beeping so he doesn't talk a long thing. I'm going to take now, uh, Valentine, I'm going to send him to tap in the boathouse here for a second, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk to Noah. Now, notice how incredibly built up this particular robot is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade with Noah, and I'm going to go ahead and give Noah some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and give him this automatic pistol. I'm going to give him this other pistol, a security baton, and things. So you're like, Kismet, how do you move your stuff around? How do you get your stuff from one place to another if you have to walk everything everywhere? Uh, especially before you have the vertebrates, uh, you have to walk basically around the entire wasteland. What I did is I invented a whole entire delivery system. That means a system of uh, actual robots, because I have the Automatron DLC, uh, that actually take my stuff and deliver them for me, like 291 purified water and all this other stuff you see right here, uh, I can go ahead and have that stuff delivered uh, at various places, including a whole bunch of junk that I just picked up. Let's go ahead and take that, put that in there as well. Any other stuff. This way, when we're actually doing the quest here or wandering around doing questing, we're not so overburdened all the time, uh, though being overburdened is uh, one of my staples here. <laughs> That's my overburden with uh, Kiz Cap t-shirt. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite shirts I've done. Uh, it's okay if you're a little late, Ralph the Man. You have arrived just in the right time to have some fun. There we go. Vato knows what it's called. That's right. The Creeper. The Creeper. Yes, sometimes I forget stuff. Hey, Aquatic Pimp. What's up? Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. Playing some Fallout 4 here. Uh, we got uh, just a few more minutes, though. We got a few more minutes, and we got to get into some Seven Days to Die because a bunch of my peeps are in there. A bunch of my peeps are in there. We're trying to get it going. Now, I'm going to send it out to you guys right now. If you're waiting for Seven Days to Die... I might give you a chance on our server tonight. That's right. I've been telling everybody if they're not playing, if they're just going to say, hey, Kismet, I want to be on the server, but then they don't play on the server, I'm going to give their spots away. I'm going to give their spots away tonight, maybe to you. Now, if you are a teamwork-style player, if you like working as a team, if you want to come in and help us out on our live stream server, this is going to be your shot. This is going to be your shot. Now, I'm going to start that up in about 30 minutes. So you got about 30 minutes to go onto our Discord. How do you get on the Discord? Easy. There's a button right down below the stream. Look at all those beautiful panels down there. I spent a lot of time on those panels. I got new panels coming, though. Even better than those panels. 
Go down there, click on that Discord. You can also go exclamation point Discord. You can go exclamation point Twitter. You can go exclamation point Facebook. You can go exclamation point Steam. Whatever you want to do in the chat, it will give you all of those links. So you can go ahead and click on any of those that you want to do. Uh, and go in there. If you want to go to my YouTube, exclamation point YouTube, right? Then you click that link. Boom, go over there, hit that subscribe. Uh, so if you do want to be part of it, go to Discord right now. I'm, I'm, right now is the time. The best time to do something? Right now. So uh, leave the stream up. Go to Discord. Get up your Discord. Hopefully you got it configured. If you don't got it configured, try to get it configured. I'm going to give you some time. I'll give you some time. Now you want to go in to our Lurker chat. In our Lurker chat, up at the top there, there's a little pin right there. You click on that pin, it's going to show you some stuff. Up there is going to be the actual rules of our server. Now, we are a teamwork-based server. That means you got to work with the team. Everything is owned by the team. We're also playing the experimental version. So don't get too attached to your stuff. Sometimes it'll glitch. Sometimes stuff will get messed up. Sometimes stuff will get completely and utterly erased. That's right. Every time there's a new patch, we will erase the server. So please keep that in mind. Now, I say all of this stuff to people, and I try to spell it out for them. And I try to tell them step by step what type of server we are and what's going to go on and all that stuff. So please be listening very, very closely. Because if you break any of those rules, I will instantly kick you off the server. If you are negative, if you are being abusive, if you are being disrespectful, if you are off doing your own thing in the corner and you want to go take all our resources and do your own thing, this is not that server. Now, I've got a community server coming up tomorrow. That's right. We're launching the Kismet Army BP or the Kismet BP Army uh, server tomorrow, the community server. Now, if you want to go off and do your own thing, you can play on that server. But you got a chance to be on the special server and play with me tonight. If we like you, if you are working together, if you're out collecting resources, if you are being part of the team, that's what we're all about. We're all about that teamwork. And you guys seen it because teamwork makes the dream work, right? You saw that last base we did. That wasn't just me. That was a whole of us working together. So I'm going to give you a heads up. You got a 30 minutes heads up to go onto our Discord, read those rules, in Lurker Chat, say, Kismet, I would like to be part of your teamwork server. And I agree to the rules. Let me accentuate that point again. I agree. I want to be part of the server. Here's your chance. Here's your chance to be part of that 7 Days to Die server. Now, my subs always get priority. Always get priority. So if you are a sub, let me know in there as well. Say, Kismet, I'm a sub. Can I get on your server? All right? If you troll, you're gone like that. I don't suffer trolls. I don't suffer a-holes. I don't suffer jerks. I don't suffer people who are rude or obnoxious to other people. They're gone. You shouldn't suffer that, people. You shouldn't. I don't care if they're the best gamer in the world. They know everything about the game. It does make it unfun for other people. My job is not to be the best at everything. I'm pretty good at stuff. I'm good, good at doing this. Like making this RDS system right here, right? Which I'm going to go ahead and That's use up. right now. But my job is to facilitate other people. My job is to lift you guys up to make you better uh, as a group uh, than separate. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him right um, here. Hey, got a second. Now, RDS stands for Robot Delivery System, kind of like the Kismet Federal Express or FedEx, uh, Kismet FedEx of the Wasteland. So this guy right here, I'm going to fill him up full of stuff, and then I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him and tell him to go to Spectacle Island with all that stuff, with all that nice stuff. Or I could tell him to go to Hangman's Alley, which is very close to Diamond City. Now, also what I could do is go here in the cooking stove and look and see what's in here. We got some mute fruit and some carrots. 3,000 bottle caps. Wow, that, my uh, vendors are doing an amazing job. As well as a whole bunch of junk here, right? I'm going to grab everything out of there as well. Turn right around, talk to Look dude. Alive. I'm going to give him all that stuff too. As much as he can carry. Might as well, right? Might as well load him up with as much stuff as he can possibly get. Whoa, I got way too many stem packs now though. Too many stem packs. So let's go ahead and uh, dish out a bunch of those stem packs. There we go. Uh, and then let's go ahead and have him also carry all of this junk so we're not overburdened. We don't have to carry it. We don't have to walk from here to Spectacle Island with all of this stuff. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Now, he's also a very big robot, so he can carry a lot of stuff, as you can see. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much stuff that sucker can carry, especially when you build up your robots. I love building robots, so if you love building robots and using them for delivery systems or uh, just using them as a companion uh, to carry your stuff or to eliminate bad guys, the Automatron DLC is uh, excellent. That is uh, Kismet approved right there. All right, so we got that going on. Again, we'll go ahead and check our other things. Nothing else we need to send. All right, off he goes. Talk to him. And then dismiss. I no longer require your services. <laughs> I always feel like a robot every time I do that. 
I am not a synth. I am definitely not a synth here. Uh, all right, RDS, let's go ahead and send him to Spectacle Island. Uh, if he goes with all that stuff, then what I'll do is I'll go to Spectacle Island later. I'll grab all the stuff that he has. I'll put it in my workbench and run it through the Mega Sorter. So it'll automatically go through and sort all the right stuff that I need to keep and all the stuff that I want to sell or all of the junk that I want to take over to Boston Airport to uh, basically save for the long term. Save for the long term. Now, also over here, we've got Ada. Uh, who we will deal with later. we got a whole bunch of quests to do in there. I can only imagine how hard that's going to be in melee mode, doing that final Automatron uh, quest, which is very tough. Now, I have finished all of the uh, DLC before uh, in survival mode, in the new survival mode uh, as well. And we'll, go, we'll get to that at some point. We'll get to the rest of that DLC as well. We'll, of course, be doing Nuka World and all of that other stuff. Now, again, I've given you some time. I've given you some time to go on there in the Lurker chat and say, Kismet, I want to be part of that. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. D-Hope, man. Sorry to hear that, bro. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Oh, showing some love, showing some love for D. Holt there in our chat. Uh, I just noticed what he uh, put in our lurking chat. Sorry to hear that, bro. Sorry to hear that. I uh, one of the things I learned very early on about drugs and alcohol uh, is a good friend of mine. I've known him since I was a little kid. Since I was a little kid, I was like five, six years old. He uh, he did uh, not make good choices. <laughs> is the best way I can explain it. Always getting in trouble. Always in a fight. Drinking a lot at a very young age. At a very young age, like 15, 16. Dude's just like pounding him, right? Pounding him because you can still get that stuff when you're young. Totally illegal. Don't do it. Totally a bad choice. Big bad choice in your life. And you're like, well, I can do whatever I want. Well, some choices affect other people as well. So my friend, and I've told this story before uh, on the stream, was in the back of a truck screwing around. They were driving up and down the street doing stupid stuff, drunk and stoned out of his mind, drugged out of his mind. Uh, fell off the back of the truck, snapped his neck, died right there in front of me, right in the middle of the road. Ah, gets me every time. Gets me every time. I watched him die right there. I watched him to bring the stream down a little bit. I watched him die right there. So please make some good choices out there, guys. Please make some good choices. He was a good friend of mine, and I learned my lesson at that moment. I learned that lesson through his, through his mistake. I learned the lesson. If you learn from other people's mistakes, you get the lesson for basically for free. He got a permanent lesson that he could not recover from. So again, make those good choices out there, everybody, and help those people who have trouble making good choices. Uh, be the backup there. When they call you up at 3 o'clock in the morning, they're like, bro, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little too uh, drunk, I think, to drive my car. And you're like, I'm on my way right now. Be that kind of friend. Say, do not get in your car. Do not get in your car. I'm on the way. I will back you up. I'm that guy. My friends call me up, and my friends are usually the ones that are wasted out of their mind, and I'm the one pulling them out of the water because they fell in the water because they got too drunk. I've actually saved a bunch of people uh, from, from that, uh, from random people I don't know. And some of my friends who are now longtime friends of mine, some of them are incredibly uh, expensive lawyers right now. So if I ever need some lawyers, I'm styling. I'm styling because they owe me like the, death, uh, the debt of death, right? They were just too drunk out of their minds. I pull them out of the water and say, dude, you don't get close to the edge, man. Don't get close to the edge of the bo uh, boat, man. You just about drown right there. Saved a few people in my day. Saved a few people in my day and they owe me a life debt. Which is cool. Which is cool. Now, I never called it in. I haven't needed it yet. But if I ever need it, he'll be like, I'm on the way, bro. I'm on the way, Kismet. I got you back. So, I'm good to go there. So, there you go. So, I'm sorry for your loss, bro. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry to hear that. And now, usually, I don't, uh, I don't like people talking about very heavy subject or deep emotional subjects in my chat. That is one of my chat rules. Um, but, uh, you know, there's sometimes you should just take a moment. Uh, and just send out that love to people who have, uh, who have uh, things like that who happen in their house, in their life. I know what that's like, bro. I know what that's like. Much love. Much love your way. So send D. Holt some love, uh, everybody. Send him some love on Discord if you can. Uh, if you can in that kind of lurker chat. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, Kismet Chat. Hope everyone's doing great. Says Aquatic Pip. Kismet, are you using mods? <laughs> Revenite, no. <laughs> I don't use mods, bro. I uh, use them kind of more like DLC. When I'm done with my playthrough, 
then I'll fool around with them afterwards for building and doing all sorts of other fun stuff. But I don't do it while I'm in the middle of a playthrough, especially when I'm trying something uh, for the first time, like playing completely through in melee mode. Now, if I give myself mods, if I did all this other stuff, it will not basically give me... Oh, what? With a sub love coming in. Thank you so much for that sub love, uh, Brian. Uh, that is a funny name. That's a funny name, Brian. But thank you so much for that sub love. Appreciate that big time. Now, anytime somebody comes in and they do that sub love, even if they have a very uh, risque name like that, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we give you the love train. Are uh, you ready? I hope you are. Now, if you guys have never done the, the uh, love train before, here's what you do. Uh, you go in and you say, add Brian, who has a very long name and a little bit obscene. Uh, basically, uh, put his name in there or don't even just put Brian in there. Just put Brian in there so you don't have to type the rest of his name. Uh, and then what we do is we go ahead and put some hearts, some doggies, some Doritos, your favorite emotes from your favorite streamers. I want to see some new ones today. I can't wait to do mine. Can't wait to do mine. Mine's still under approval. Uh, by the way, if you are unsure how you know when your uh, emotes are approved, what you can do is go ahead and look on my Twitter. I showed you exactly how to do it. I even did a little picture and showed you exactly how to check and see if your, um, uh, your affiliate sub button uh, um, emotes are approved. Uh, you can go ahead and just roll over them. Bam, that's how you tell. I even I didn't know that. I had to ask Twitch support today. It was very awesome. Very awesome. So here we go, everybody. Let's get on the love train. Let's do it. Let's go. Every time you throw an emote in that chat, is going to go ahead and throw up here on the stream. I know that totally sounds wrong. It totally sounds wrong. But let's do it. I've done it here before. Dropped a hundred bomb before, bro. I, yeah, I know. I know, Brian. Uh, I know. I know. Your name's just right on the edge of that PG-13. I try to keep my stream. But much love, bro. Much love. Thank you so much for hanging out here in the stream. Thanks for showing that love to the stream. We're going to show that love right back to you because when people show love to my stream, you know what I do? Woo boom I do little kitties. Ah, ah. And I throw it right back to you. I throw that love right back to you. Thank you so much, Brian. Look at all these people showing you love. Look at this love up in here. You aren't going to get no that much love from anybody's stream except for mine because my community is amazing. It's amazing. So go ahead, everybody. Blow it up. Well, I wander the wasteland a little bit here. Blow it up. Well, let's do it. Let's call in another vertebrate. Uh, what do we got? Time? Oh, we're almost out of time. Let's see if we can rush down here. Let's see if we can get to the Coast Guard Pier. I think that's where we're going next, right? Is that where we're going? I think so. I think we're going to the Coast Yard Pier. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can't go there. We can't go to the Coast Yard Pier. And you're like, Kismet, why not? You got a vertebrate. Well, that was my last vertebrate signal grenade. So unless I want to walk all the way from where I'm at right now, all the way over here, down across here, and down to the uh, Pridwin, I'm going to have to take that sucker back. Hopefully I remember. Hopefully I remember. We'll find out. We'll find out in a second. We might be walking a whole long way. Now, in the very beginning of the game, that's all you can do. You just walk around. Thanks for setting that cup on fire. Check out my awesome advanced graphics I got up in here. Right now, recording six channels of audio. Advanced graphics going on because I love doing some graphics, including fire. It's on fire, everybody. It's on fire. Look at that love. Oh, man, they're blowing it up today. Blowing it up. Exactly. Blowing it up big time. Look at that love. Look at that love. I love to see all the icons pop up on stream. I think that was like, Kismet, we made this just for your love train, bro. I know it's not just for me, but I, that is just like perfect for my love train. I don't think it gets any better. That is called Capogen uh, from uh, Stream Elements. I don't mind telling you guys what it is. Go check out Stream Elements. They are amazing over there. They're doing a great job of what they do. All right, we got to go back to the Pridwin. Let's go. Welcome aboard, night. Let's go, Air everybody. For takeoff. Now, right now, you're thinking, Kismet, why is everything Many red, bro? Be and ready That's the targeting fire. HUD. That's the targeting Good HUD shooting, you can get. Sir. Uh, by modding your armor. Not third-party modding, but built-in vanilla modding. Uh, right there. Look, bad guy. Let's get him. Eat that, Super Mitten. Oh, I hate the chain gun. The chain gun sucks so bad. Why do you suck so bad, chain gun? Why do you suck so bad? I mean, come on. Look how many bullets I just shot him with. And I missed like 99% of those bullets missed. Cars I can get, though. Cars, boom. Gotcha. I love blowing me up some cars. I love annihilating lots and lots. Oh, bad guys!
Unlimited ammo, and for some reason, I can't hit nobody. I think the chain gun, if I'm honest, is a giant fail in Fallout 4. The chain gun should be like a high-end weapon that you get and that you just rip them apart. I mean, their limbs should be coming off, all of that stuff. But for some reason, like 99% of that stuff misses. Uh, it's one of those things. What? Also, Callum Ma with a subscription. Thank you so much for that sub love coming in as well. Giving that sub love up in here. Thank you so much. Appreciate uh, Kellen Mall as well, who's also subscribed. I appreciate everybody coming in. They're like, Kismet, we love what you do, bro. I see you got that sub button. Let me throw you some sub love. So thank you so much for that sub love. For landing. Let me go ahead and back into my uh, overseer's office here. Let's go ahead and land here at the Fridwin. And as watch as Nick falls to his doom, because he's a bonehead. Uh, he loves to fall to his doom for some reason. He loves to fall. Like The second I get off of here... So he doesn't show up right here. He always falls. And it doesn't matter whether I'm by the side of it here or I'm up here or wherever I am. He will fall to his doom. Way down there somewhere. Now sometimes, rarely though, uh, he makes it. Let's see if I can see him down there. Down there somewhere. I'm not going down there. Screw it. Screw it. I got uh, I got stuff to do here. I got time to fool around with those guys every time. When I now, when I go inside here, watch up there in that upper left-hand corner. If he did fall to his death, uh, what will happen is it will basically say, Hey, uh, Nick is going to uh, to wherever he was before. Actually, he didn't come up. So he might have, uh, he might have already went there uh, already. Uh, I've got him uh, set at Boston Airport because he has a tendency to falling down. Look at that. We almost got that goal down there, everybody. We almost got that sub goal. One more sub to go. Bravo six four, report One Tuvalu more Bay sub two. to go. Bravo if you are enjoying Tuvalu the stream, let's wait for Tuvok to finish talking. I'm worried about these. Uh, if you are enjoying the dream, please uh, enjoying the stream. Please consider hitting that follow button. Could please consider hitting that subscribe button. Every sense? subscription does help the stream. Now, of course, the first thing I do with my subscriptions. today. The first thing I do with my subscriptions, and of course, is go in and uh, get a community server. <laughs> uh, go right out and just spend it on my on my peeps, because I think it's worth it. I call it the sub love server. So offer all the subs. You guys just got a, a seven days to die a community server where we can all play together. Where we can all play together, which we're going to launch that tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and I do appreciate everybody coming in and doing that. Now, we're going to give him a love train in just a moment. Don't worry. Kellen, Kellen we're going to give you that love train. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. First, I got to get my vertebrate signal grenades. Now, there's a lot of stuff here to buy, but I don't got the time. I don't got the time. I have to come back another time. Let's go ahead and take the Kismet shortcut here. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough alliance in his foolish All race. right. All right, we out of here. There we go. Welcome, Sandman. Yay, just in time for the love train. Exactly, exactly. Uh, is, is this Fallout 4 video on YouTube? Yes, Raz. There's lots of Fallout 4 videos on YouTube, bro. On YouTube, there's lots of them up there. Now, I'm a bit behind on uploading them. Uh, they're about two weeks behind, so... Because uh, I have so many. I've been streaming so much that literally it's terabytes. And something happened. I, like, let my YouTube run. I have a separate connection for it. And something happened where all of a sudden, like, it stopped uploading. It wouldn't let me upload anymore. It just went to, like, a 13%. And then all my stuff, which I thought was uploading, was not. Which sucks big time because that wasted a whole bunch of time which means it puts me even more behind on those YouTube videos and it is quite the challenge to keep up with a four terabytes worth of videos to upload to YouTube that's a lot of hours that is literally weeks uh, in the neighborhood of months uh, to upload that many videos sorry my bad sorry my bad my bad all right so we're gonna hit the little thingy here what do you need Got her some power armor right here. What I need to do is find out where Nick is. Find out where Nick is. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick here. First, we're going to go ahead and sleep here so that we can get our uh, uh, get daytime coming up. As well as what will happen is all of the uh, people that I just hit the bell, right? I hit the bell first. You can sit in a chair for an hour. It will basically bring all of them to the bell. So you don't have to sit here and just wait for them to walk from wherever they're at. Uh, you can just instantly yeah, forward it. Boom. Sleep. And now they're all over here. Now, Nick should be around here somewhere, uh, unless I left him at Taffin and Boathouse. I left him at Taffin. I just dawned on me. I left him at Taffin and Boathouse. That's where I left him. 
All right. Well, such is the way it goes. Such is the way it goes. Well, we're going to have to finish this quest tomorrow because it's seven days to die time. I know. I know. Oh, I love playing Fallout 4. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. All right. So we're going to go ahead and call it right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, of course, have to hunt down Nick next time. We'll probably run to Tavern and Boathouse on the way over there. But we got plenty of uh, signal grenades now. And I'll leave you guys with a beautiful shot. Of, actually, let's fly up to the top here. So, you ready to get this show? Where did it go? Let me get back in my power armor here. Back in my power armor. Now, I've already got uh, 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 Hancock there to maximum affection. I've already got some of my other peeps to max affection. So, I don't really need, uh, need to get them any higher. Can I get up there? Oh, I made it. I made it. Look at this beautiful day, though. Look at this beautiful day to be out in the wasteland. So I like it when you have a nice, beautiful day. Oh, yeah. And then get the, get the glowy eyes going on. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like to set up a beautiful shot at the end. Look at that. Nice. That is primo. Look at how look at, look at the detail. Look at how much love and care went into Fallout 4. It is so amazing. I'm an artist. I've been an artist for 25 years, actually for longer, uh, since basically I was born. Uh, uh, I love, I love the detail of stuff. How much effort and time and look how he just like looks around. All the tiny little details that you notice in the game, that's what keeps me playing it. That's what keeps me playing it, that I discover new stuff in every single playthrough. And every single, now again, I have 1,800, almost 50 hours in the game and I still find new stuff all the time. So amazingly fun game. Amazingly fun. Now, speaking of Fallout, uh, we're going to play some Seven Days to Die. And I'm going to give you guys a shot, my subs first, and then uh, all, of, uh, all of you a shot to play with us uh, on our server. You've got to be a teamwork-based person. Hopefully, you're in the Lurker chat saying, Kismet, I want to be a part of your server. Just let me know, and I'll be bringing people in as we play to uh, join in. We'll get you into the server. We'll get to the server info and all of that fun stuff. Uh, now, of course, we're going to be playing Seven Days to Die. Now, if you've not discovered Seven Days to Die yet, I suggest to stick around. Stick around because uh, I call it Fallout 5. Now, it's what I would like to see in the next Fallout. Now, if we could have our own private server that is, is this hosted, like we have ours hosted with Ping Perfect. They're doing an amazing job over there. They're my third host, by the way. My other two hosts. Those people. Those people, I'm not going to call them out. Or I'm not going to say their name. But those people ain't good. They ain't good at all. They ain't good at all. Uh, they messed up my service. They messed up my service, and they messed up my accounts, and I couldn't get in there, and they had terrible customer service. I was like, oh, I'm out of here. Don't suffer bad customer service. If you got another alternative, go to somebody else. That's how you really speak. You speak with your dollar bills. You say, nope, sorry, your service is terrible. I'm taking my money elsewhere. And that's what I did. And that's what I did. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start that up. Now, of course, I would love to see Fallout combined with Grand Theft Auto. Right, So you have all these vehicles like motorcycles and all these atomic cars and stuff that you could do. Right, So you got Fallout, the Fallout universe and all of its lore and all of its tough moral decisions that you have to make along the way. And great storyline, uh, especially like uh, the storyline in uh, Fallout New Vegas. As well as then you go ahead and take a bit of uh, that Grand Theft Auto where you can use vehicles and you can do all that kind of cool stuff. All the mechanics of Grand Theft Auto and the giant world building that they use. Just like the giant world building here in Fallout 4. Then, of course, you take the Minecraft aspect of it, where all of us can work together, or the Seven Days to Die aspect, where you can do crafting, you can build anywhere. We can tear this entire city down if we wanted to, and then go ahead and build up our own city. Uh, and, of course, put up Kismet kill boxes and do all of that stuff, and giant uh, hordes of super mutants coming in, and uh, raiders and gunners, and all of a sudden, the shoot stuff firing off all over the place, and nukes flying all over the place, and you're like, look out, Kismet's south side, south side, there's super mutants. Oh, my gosh, wait, no, from the north side, there's some ghouls attacking. Oh, my gosh. Would that be amazing? That would be amazing if we could all play together, much like in Seven Days to Die. Uh, you can play uh, all together on one server, which is super fun, which is the funnest part of the aspect of it is the teamwork part of it. Now, go ahead and take my wallet. I actually got a self-portrait on my wallet. This is my real-life wallet, by the way. I bought it at TwitchCon last time. Just take my wallet, bro. Take my wallet right there. There it is. It looks just like me. Right? It looks just like me. I'm telling you. How do, they, how do they know? How did they know? How did they take my photo and put it on there? I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> now, before we go, we're not going to forget that Callum Mall took the extra time, and also Brian took the extra time. Well, we already gave Brian a love train. Got to give Callum a love train. 
We're gonna do it right now, and then we're gonna switch over. So let's do it, everybody. Put at Kellum Mall in the chat and say, we love you, bro. We love you. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for getting us close to getting that two out of three subs tonight. Now, I, I don't set too ambitious goals, but I love uh, every time somebody hits that follow button, every time somebody hits that subscribe button. If you are considering doing that, go for it. Go for it. Hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it big time. Let's show them some love train. Top Atlas already with that love in the chat. Get on that love train. Let's keep going, everybody. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over while you guys are doing the love train. <laughs> Kitties. Kitties. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So go ahead and throw it in the chat again at Kellam Mall. Throw them some love while I'm going to go ahead and switch over to some seven days to die. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my backdrop. Whoop. Like that. While you guys are throwing that love train. And let's go ahead and quit out of Fallout 4. That was an epic shot. Epic shot. I like that shot. Oh, I'm also going to stop my uh, uh, recording here in just a minute. Let's get out of there. All right. Bam. I'm going to go ahead and start up my Discord, and we're going to get fired up. Got to get fired up for playing some Seven Days to Die. I can't wait. I love this game. It is so good. It is so fun. So we got a lot of things to do here. We got to fire that up. We've got to get over here. We've got to change what game we're playing. Because some people are going to come in there and say, Kismet, what? No Fallout 4, bro. It says Fallout 4 in your title. It says it. Why are you not playing it, bro? Why are you not playing some Fallout 4? I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. There we go. Updating my stream title. Getting this stuff a going. Let's do it. Dashboard. Bam. Over there. Seven days to die. All right. Updated. Updated, everybody. About a love train. I got time out for caps. Yeah, watch out, the gaming skulls. I do apologize that. I do apologize that. That's salt bot. Sometimes he gets a bit salty in the stream. I apologize for him. He's a little crazy. He's a little crazy. You see him here at the top of the stream, by the way. He usually pops up, opens up the vault for you guys, so you guys can come into Vault 45. He owes you a personal apology. He says, I, I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology, bruh. So I'm going to go ahead and tell him to apologize right to you, and we're going to send him off to the corner. We're going to send him off to the corner. You're like, Kidman, what the heck are you talking about, bro? You crazy, man. You crazy. You, you don't have no robot that comes in and just like apologizes to people. Oh, yeah? I got a lot of stuff. I got fire running. I got a stealth boy. I, got, I could make it snow right now if I wanted to. I got a red arrow that floats around, makes it easy on you guys. I got a love train that's fully animated, got hearts coming out of it. Because I go above and beyond. Look at all these emotes flying out. I got the most advanced stream on Twitch. I got rocking stuff. I'm recording six channels of audio right now to 100 gigs. Actually, maybe 300 gigs tonight. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here uh, for my YouTube channel. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Watch for the next part.